And I'm proud to be an American. And I don't know what it means. The white girl moment with our very own Shmuley Warren. And this, my friend, is why Taylor Swift cannot keep a boyfriend. If being a hoe was zero to ten, Kim Kardashian's an 8.3. Oh. If we're learning one thing from this podcast, it's that celebrities are just people. They're just like us. They're all going to die one day. I went skiing one time. I lost both of my front toenails. Like you cut your- <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring Gal Gadot on the podcast? Yeah, right now. We'll just call her, call her, call her. Hi, Gal. Can you come on? Thank you. I'll see you on July 28th. Bye-bye. My hero of the week is the Founding Fathers. <laughs> <laughs> because f- the British. Imagine we were still British. I don't want to have those teeth. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to be the weirdest person he's had sex with. That one is definitely Bill Belichick. <laughs> if you're from and you're watching this, turn this off right now. All right, everybody, welcome to episode number 43, I believe, of Mislabeled. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, very much for watching. If you're watching this, please like, subscribe and comment it would be greatly greatly appreciated okay so we're coming this is being released right after we just had tommy smokes on last week first bar stool guest that we've had on that's been 41 episodes and counting that took uh, took for us to get to a bar stool um bar stool person legitimate bar stool person that is um Shmuley, what do you think of that first of all i mean i was stoked because tommy man tommy, um, tommy is my favorite bar stool, my favorite stool person right now in the in the in the office. Your favorite stool sample. If you yeah, know. he's my he's my favorite stool sample between him and Frank the Tank. Really? And um, and the fact that we were able to get him, and when I we met him a couple of times, um, yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't starstruck because he's a cool dude, um, but he's aggressively normal. He's aggressively normal. Some would say autistically normal. <laughs> yeah. He's very personable. Yes. He he's, he's very personable. I, I can't uh, really say enough how Jewish he seems. <laughs> really? So, yeah, he seemed so Jewish. How do you like him, Zach? I, I, he, he, oh, I love him. He's a great guy. He just truly talked, acted, and looked like so many of my friends from YU. And I was just so surprised that he was actually a small Italian boy, but. Yeah, he could have, he could have ran like the Italian club at YU. Yeah. To be clear, he's taller than me. I did just call him a small Italian boy, but he, he's got some height on him. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't say, doesn't say much. No, no I was going to be honest. Um, okay, fine. Yeah, no, I thought it was fantastic, honestly. Yeah. Um, looking forward to what everyone has to say. Yeah. Um, at this point, obviously, it'll be out already, but I am curious to what people's oh, thoughts are. Oh, it will be out already? It. Yeah, it's coming out this Monday. We're shooting this. This is going to okay. be the following Monday. No, yeah. Anyways, um, so I, I think the only way to start off with uh, is Shmuley, uh, if I may. I, I know it's a sensitive subject, but if I may roast a little bit, Shmuley was... There's levels of pissed off in life and frustrated in life. By the way, Shmuley doesn't normally get so frustrated and pissed off. I get very irked very, very quickly. People that know me know that I get irritated quickly. Like, if, if I'm ordering something at Chickies and, you know, they charge me an extra, extra 50 cents when I'm already spending $30 for, like, an extra sauce, I'll, like, blow a gasket. I'll come back and be like, what the hell? Yeah. And just go crazy. Or when, some, like, Russia invades Ukraine, that really drives that me set cr- you off. It, I just went nuts, <laughs> man. I went yeah. crazy. But that never happens to Shmuley ever. But this, I mean, he went all out on Instagram. He went for, I, I want to say the pity party because I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I, I felt for you, Shmuley. I did. Lots of people did. Lots I, of people I did. I did feel I felt for you. you, too. I still would like to rip you for it. No, please you were, do. You were so close to starting a GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So when I started doing all this stuff on Instagram, it wasn't out of a place of like, I'm angry at him. It was more like, I'm angry at myself for like putting myself in the situation. Like there's a, there's a point where like something like that happens to you. And for anyone that doesn't know, obviously what happened to me is I was in the city uh, for a birthday party on Saturday night. We went out to a live music bar and outside at three 30 in the morning, obviously a little bit inebriated, just a touch. Um, I, some kid came up to me and asked me to put his Instagram in my phone because he's a musician and he's trying to make whatever. He shows me his Instagram, 80,000 followers, whatever. So he basically took my phone and bolted. He took your phone to put his name in? Yes, took my phone put his, to put his name in, took it, took it out of my hand. It's like, oh, here, let me show it to you. Boom, ran down the street. Now, nice everyone has the questions like, oh, you didn't run after me to call the cops? Like, bro, I was, I was inebriated, number one. Number two... 
even if I wasn't, I wasn't chasing that kid. I was so in shock. I was like, what just happened? Where is my phone? Where are you going? What is happening? So, so that sucked. So that sucked. Um, basically, what happened was within the course of about seven minutes before I was able to even wrap my head around anything, they changed all my passwords, all my Apple ID, um, reset this most goddamn insane new feature that Apple put out. Tim Cook, you're a retard. I'm sorry, Tim Cook, you're an absolute retard. Yeah, whatever you were trying to do, the fact that you run a multi-multi-billion dollar trillion. tech, multi-trillion dollar tech business and can't see a pitfall like that makes me want to like literally cut off your cock li yeah literally like makes me want to take him and give him a swirly like, <laughs> like until he like figures out how that doesn't happen Wait, what's what 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 happens basically um they changed on my apple id and the only way they're able to do it is because uh, is, is because if you have the person's passcode you're able to change their apple id now after right. changing the apple id normally you're able to get it back I don't want to get too involved in it, yeah, right, but right, in yeah. general, there's this new feature called a recovery key. So for people that forget their Apple ID, which is 99% of people, instead of having to call up Apple support and go into an Apple store and deal with all that crap, okay, they want you to be able on your phone to be able to turn on this thing where you can able to, you're able to just enable able, enable this thing and say, by the way, this is my phone that I'm on, blah, blah, blah. Gotcha, yeah. But it doesn't come as a default setting. The default setting is off. They turned it on, so now they're the only ones with the key. Basically, what it's like, what it is like, is a robber coming into your house, changing the code to your house, leaving, and then you trying to get back in. And instead of having a back door, they also change everything to all the other locks. And it's like you trying to prove to yourself that you have the deed to the house, and trying to prove to detectives. By the way, I can get back into the house. They're like, I'm sorry, dude. There's no way you can tell us that you're the part of this house because who would have locked the doors? The person that stole the phone, you dumb fuck. I'll tell you, originally, I thought this was a classic Shmuley situation, but then I started looking into it a little bit, and he sent me certain videos, and like, this is a real going thing. on for the past It's reported in the Wall Street Journal. It's yes. not like a fake thing. This is like a, a thing, guys. It's a new trend. It's, it's a, a new, new trend. trend because of this recovery key that came out. So basically, the idea is, is they wiped my bank account. They, and we'll get into that. They wiped my bank account. They took away 10,000 photos, all my contacts. So yes, 90% um, of the people but that I never- really after is your memories. <laughs> Correct. So yes- they have all of my nudes, which is just very frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. They have everyone else's nudes. Even more. By the way, I just want to be clear. If you sent this guy a nude, you are screwed. That is in the hands of somebody but, right now that you I, don't know who. It happens to be. You are probably right now on xvideos.com. Just FYI. Just no, maybe. but, but on top, it happens to be the one nice thing that came out of it is that over your time in New York, and you guys know this, both like living here for the past nine years, right? Um, and you just, you gain a lot of contacts and a lot of people that you never talk to ever again, and they're just kind of in your phone. You kind of just look and you're just like, did I really know that person? Is that person? I don't have any of those anymore. I do not have to look through my phone and be like, bad decision. <laughs> Regret. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that night. <laughs> but not just girls, also guys. No, everything. It's, like, it's anyone, it's anything and anyone that you've met. Like when we yeah. were living in Long Beach, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's any human being that ever had my phone number. And like, you're like, out. Like you're out. Like I've finally been able, it kind of clean. clean. Yes, you feel like you clean lost weight. Correct. Amazing. It's, but at the same time, you also lose all the things that matter to you. Um, you know, I've, I heard that the worst part about this is that you went and listened to the guy's music and it was, it slapped. <laughs> Like, nothing but bangers. Turns out he had no music and he was a con man. And you have no idea who this guy is. No idea who this guy is. Um, he tried opening up tons of different things, but he, like... Did he actually? Yeah. Such as what? Credit cards, different he things. Really yeah, tried? he tried opening up. OnlyFans, started Apple. an OnlyFans, yeah. wish him his money. <laughs> How do you know this, though? Because I got notifications to my email. About what? Yeah. What was he trying to open up? He tried to open up an Apple Pay card. He tried opening up a PayPal card. Anything that is not, like... Uh, you need a social form? Correct. Exactly. How could you? Yeah, I guess they know this business called. Uh, they know job. this business called. Maybe they had my social and they just, you know, messed around. They messed around. Whatever it is, they're trying to get a quick money grab. It's so like they, the funniest thing that someone who does this could do with your money. Like those. Well, those are the classics, right? Like, oh, he's trying to like start a bank account. Like, what if it's like, I just applied to grad school. <laughs> A literary arts degree? What? <laughs> like, <laughs> I bought a puppy? That's sweet. Like, whatever you like, you approve of the choices. Like, I wish you hadn't stolen from me, but that's very nice. It's like, <laughs> you yeah. open up an orphanage in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my family's all worried. I'm going to be like, 
By the way, time. No, 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 no. They gave tons of money to Wits. <laughs> <laughs> you they gave tons of money to your alma mater. That's like no, there. but it's just oh. the funniest part always to these things is obviously the way that they do it is they get your passcode. That's yeah. how it is. So obviously the way they get your passcode is one of two ways. Either he saw me type it in while he was going after my phone when he was trying to get me to follow him. Or what they do is they have three or four of them and they scout out a certain person and they watch you go into your phone multiple times. Right? And then eventually they target you. Now... I understand why I'm a target. I look like a trust fund kid. So they thought what they were getting was trust fund money. Yeah. But they didn't realize what they were getting was fuck you money. And by that, I mean, you, you're getting no money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they literally, I'm not joking, they made three transactions. $200, $200, $200. <laughs> Those kids thought that they were going to be like set for the next like three months. Like, we got the hack of the century. We got this kid. You, this 25-year-old, 30-year-old white kid's phone. Like, I am got the brand. It. was not as lucky with my car. Shmuley has uh, trust fund face, and he has fentanyl addict from mid-Ohio <laughs> bank account. Correct. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so... So do you think it's a 797 being targeted, a 797 playing field being targeted thing? Yeah, it's so crazy. someone so someone Am said Am I next? <laughs> I mean, it's either 797 or it's the pod. Someone's I tell you a great story by the way. The uh, I don't want to interrupt you, but someone messaged ahead. me. What's happening in your house is crazy between your car and, and you. Like, I think you should check your Missouri. That's exactly. I knew you were going to say I that. I said back to this person. I said, "Hold on, pause for one second. <laughs> What happens to me happens once every 10 years. What happens to Shmuley really happens once a week, okay? Let's be very clear. My missus are totally fine, okay? I said, when it happens to Avi or my other roommate, I said, then you could come at me and, and, and tell me, You're right. you know. It happens to be funny. Like, when I was on the phone, I, I don't normally get aggressive. Like, you know this. I try to keep my calm. Like, even if someone messes up my order at a restaurant, like, I'm always, like, maybe it'll be a little facetious and sarcastic. Like, I'll be I like. I just love how you said, like, I. You know me. I'm like real soft. Even if someone messes up my order, I don't go try to beat them up. No, or but you call know, like, names. you know, people at like restaurants, you get there. It's like, sir, this is not hot. Please put it back. Right. Like, I mean, you stay soft. I stay soft. I'm just like, can you guys like redo the fries? If not, don't worry about it. It's yeah. fine. I or, like, I ordered mashed potatoes. No, you're like green the beans. best person on earth. Yeah, yeah, obviously. So in this case scenario, I, I was going at it with Apple on the phone. Like I literally was talking to whatever this Indian woman on the phone and she's like, there's nothing we can do, sir. I don't know what to do. I can tell you, but you don't have your recovery key, and I don't know what to do. And I said, if I was Elon Musk, okay, if I was Mark Zuckerberg, you'd figure out a freaking way. If I was Tim Cook, you'd find out a freaking way to get into my photos. There's no way not, and I still believe this to this day. If I had any sort of pull. But what if there isn't? Like, no, because there's no way. No way. way. There's, there's no a way. thing with Apple. There's a famous thing that they had that thing where the FBI was trying to get into an iPhone, and the FBI couldn't. Like, I think Is Apple just thing? locks their... Yeah. I'm just saying... Apple's crazy. I'm like done that. with Apple, and I've never said that for 10 years, 12 years, because you know. because I'll tell you why. I'm not a technology junkie, so I don't know anything. When I look at a Google interface, when I look at a Android interface, my body crumbles. It has anxiety. I yeah. just don't know what's happening. Yeah. Okay? I can't even fathom not having every single app, like, just perfectly aligned and looking like it's from, like, the Truman Show. Yeah. yeah. Okay? So... But I'm switching. You're switching. I'm switching. So I don't know if Apple cares, but a podcast with 11,000 listeners is shitting on you, and we're switching. So F you, Apple. Tomorrow, like, Apple stock <laughs> crashes. <This is> unprecedented. <laughs> F you, Apple. Tim Cook, I'm going to give you a swirly. You should know something. I, I, by the way, Shmoley, however crazy you went, let's just be clear, I would have burnt down a block. Oh, my God. No, la label label would have flew to Silicon Valley. La yeah, I feel like if this had happened to Label... Actually, label would have affected a t couple trillion dollar company somehow. You would have affected. Them. I know what he was going through, and my blood was boiling for him. Never mind yeah. if I was in that exact situation. I know exactly what he's feeling. Like his hands are tied behind his back. It's total idiocy. They know that he's a victim. They know it. They're not. Yeah. They're, they're, they don't. It's not like the person on the other end of the line, or whoever it is, doesn't think he's a victim. They know he is. They're just yeah. like the they're just like. Time. Oh, it's just a bunch of bullshit. And you should know something. I activated all that recovery crap. Yeah, I did yeah, all yeah. of it. Now, like I have like five friends. That have my information. And if you come at me over the hell you are, one of them is I me. Will bury your children. Okay, let's just be Whoa. clear. Okay, so don't even try. No, so literally, like he's right. Labels right. It's like of course they know. These people in the back are like, I'm so sorry that just happened to you. I'm like, are you sorry that it happened to me, or like, are, are do you just have well, another? They or, might know. Or do you just have another call in the queue? <laughs> Both can be true. They might actually be sorry for you. They Anyways, can't do it. Anyways, but that's crazy. Either I'm way, it was total chaos. I lost everything, and. I went on Shmuley, a, maybe this was a good thing for you, just start fresh in life. I know, that's how I was like, and then after like a day and a half, two days, I kind of just like came down from it, 
and I was just like, you know what? It happened. I'm moving forward. <laughs> Here's it my is question. what it is, and that's why I went on the Instagrams. Right, that's why I went on the. But Instagrams. here's my question. No, we we all know when you when you when you're I doing the. Knock at, I was at a place where I was when down. When Shmuley was, just... was like, "Ask me anything," smiley face. Like, what's it like? Ask me anything. I'm crying in the fetal position. Literally, yeah, in a fetal position <laughs> under his covers. He hasn't moved for three days. His room smells like shit. But <laughs> first of all, hold on, pause. Shmuley's room never smells like shit. If there's one thing he has going for him, it could look like there's a tornado in there. It's a nice smell. Bro, man. he's got the ear fresheners. He's got the <laughs> good smelling candles going. He's <laughs> like, my room has to be feng shui. Does it smell good? <laughs> yeah, bro. I, have, I, I will have laundry all over the place, but it will smell like teakwood mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> my question is, how, uh, how many nudes have you taken in the past few days to make up for the lack... You just oh, been I've, I've, I've like, just been going ham. <laughs> yeah, I've just been like hundreds. You know, like you ask people, and first of all, people have been really good. Labels sent me a few other people sent me. My roommate what, Izzy nudes? sent me no. <laughs> they sent me pictures. So like, they, they sent me pictures. Like load up my phone with mm -hmm. pictures, and it's like so I've nice. just been doing the same thing. <laughs> just been loading up my picture with nudes, loading nice. up my pictures with nudes, loading them up, just like being like, okay. They didn't get me. They didn't get me. Yeah. <laughs> take this it. with each time you like take out your dick. You're like, take this, Tim Cook. <laughs> That's great. Freaking cook. That's Anyways. Great. Yeah. Ah, so that, man, that yeah. Sucks. So that happened. And that we're sucks. over it. We're on to the next. And the, by the way, one thing that people say, the same thing with Zaza, is it bothers me so much. Is like, I am a, at this point when these things happen, I try to get to like the let go, let God place. And I, I did get there. But when people go, maybe it's a kapara. I literally. Well, you got to explain what that I, is. A kapara. Our, okay, so a kapara yeah. is like a, a thing that happens in because you let's say let's say you did something that is not great. Yeah. So God get, does something to you. Self, it, as, how would you define it? How would you do? Yeah, what's the English translation? For atonement. It? Atonement. Yes, it's Boom. atonement. Yom it's Kippur. Ato it's atonement, but maybe it's an atonement that things something could have happened worse to you, and he's being lighter yeah, on you, yeah. right? Well, you could have gone to hell. Yeah, I could have had my leg cut off by like uh, I could have just shark by correct. I could have yeah. been on on the beach. There's a lot of sharks. Could have been in the submersible. Correct. I could have been in the submersible, but instead I lost all my contacts and photos. Yeah. See how good God is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally wants me to. It literally makes me want to shove like a, a needle inside of my genitalia. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually I, a form of Chinese torture. I, I hate or, when people say yeah, that. Why Chinese? They're not like No, Russian. I think the Chinese like saying... were famous for doing that. Oh, really? Which means that was done to John McCain. Just oh, think about it. Just <laughs> think about Christ. it. I'm not saying whether it's true or not, the whole atonement of Arlie. I'm just saying... Not, not the place, not the time. Uh, yeah, that obviously. is never the right thing to say. <laughs> I mean, people say that, by the way. I mean, I've heard stories. It's like people going, say that at Shiva houses. Right, I was about to say. Like, the, which is uh, like mourning houses, like after a saw family member dies. Like, I know people mean well. That is, I mean, there was that video on YouTube years ago, like things you don't say to like mourners, like like the top 10 dumbest things. It, people say dumb things, like Talk, yeah. dumb, dumb things. I oh, well, uh, they were going to go to hell, but now they're not because God just took some of their life years away. Like, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Okay. What Anyways, happened? Hold on. Anyone else's week had an eventful week? I know nothing compares well, to that. No, that's great. But <laughs> yeah, I'm I just know saying. Nothing, like, I know nothing compares surely, to that. I literally got into law school and got married this week. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, everybody. Just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this episode, uh, Joseph Bender Suits. Um, guy's fantastic. Uh, everyone who knows who's been watching knows that I've used him. Uh, he's given me three suits so far. Love all of them. Um, if you want to reach him, his email is info at josephbenderofficial.com. You can also find him on Instagram at josephbenderofficial. Um, his number is 838202-8102. Again, that's 838202-8102. Again, I've used him. He's fantastic. A lot of people have also reached out to me, letting me know, letting me know they've reached out to him as well and are very happy. All right, guys, back to the show. Well, first of all, July 4th happened since the last time we saw each other. So I had a pretty fun July 4th, but I want to know what you guys did. You should know something. I had my best July 4th I've ever had. Really? I think, I, I think it was the best July 4th ever. It was actually a uh, friend no, of mine. The best July 4th ever is when we put the T in, in the harbor. Did we do that on July 4th? Yeah. Bro, I don't even know the history of America 17, in this 17, regard. 17, uh, 17, yeah, the yeah. Boston Tea Party was the best July 4th. Someone is going to correct us and be like, that actually didn't happen. On, I don't know. But that was the best. <laughs> okay, thank <laughs> you, you Zach. Saying. I'm saying a very simple thing. That... Uh, I had a great July 4th, personally. I really did. Um, it, it, just the way it worked out, it worked out really well. Um, it was actually a friend's birthday party, and she asked me, she's like, uh, she asked me like a week before, she's like, Label, I really want, can you please put together a group of people for July 4th? I really want to do a picnic. I was like, okay, fine. I have to do a picnic. Fine. So, like, she asked me. This wasn't going to happen on my own. Fine. 
Oh, she's definitely listening. <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. Also, the fact that she, had, I didn't know this, the fact that she asked her a picnic is just. It's classic. I'm just, no like, I'm just like, I'm going to totally roast this human being. <laughs> anyway, she wanted a picnic in the park, whatever. I said, you know something? I'm going to try it because I'm a good friend. And she asked me for this and I'm going to put in my effort. So I quickly put together a group, whatever. I reached out to a few people, by the way. Figuring out how to get people to a party is a little bit of an art. You never yeah. put together a group first and just ask people. You always go individually one by one. The first six, you tell them the other five are coming as well. Nail down six. Then you do the group. Then you tell all them to write in right away. Boom, bam, bam. Anyways, What's right- that last thing? Write in right away? Yeah, they have to write in, in, in right oh, away. Yeah, so everyone right. is like, all of a sudden there's momentum, bam, bam. Yeah, in the, in the WhatsApp group. Guys, if I ever this call- This is how label ran uh, January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever tell you that there's another five people already in, it's probably a lie. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You're the first person in, by the way, <laughs> or the second. But that is good advice. That's amazing. But listen, anyways, the first five people are basically in. They think they're in. They, they know they're going to be in. Yeah. Whatever. You just have to believe. Anyways, the point is at the end of the day that- um, surprisingly enough, everyone was like, we don't have July 4th plans, which is crazy. I couldn't believe it. Right. Bottom line, bam, picnic in place. We're going to do it in the park. Starts pouring rain. It was a, it was a crappy weather July 4th day. It ended up being nice. Yeah. But like at 11 a.m. it was already raining. Uh, whatever. Long story short, I found a friend who had a pool and this and that and a basketball court. We ended up going to this other friend. And it was just, it was a yeah. ton of fun. I don't even know how to explain it. We yeah, were playing they had, basketball. They had a pool, yeah. They had a pool, hot tub, basketball court. We got like 15 people there. It was a perfect it was group. It perfect was... group, which is like everyone is friendly with each other. Did you pour like tea into the pool? No, I peed in it though. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> which I feel, yeah, I feel like that's like a good as long as you were, I'm as, sure they're really happy to know that. As long as you were thinking like F the British while you pee in the pool. Yeah, I you, always think F the British when yeah, I'm peeing. You had cover on it. You had you know what's hilarious? If you asked me, I understand this is embarrassing, but if you asked me what happened on 70, 1776, I would have no idea. I would not be able to tell you that the American beat the British. I would not even know. Literally, well, it's not I, just that they beat the British. Do you know what July 4th? It depends. You, yeah, America right. became a country. Yeah, right. Well, no, that I know. Well, I don't know if we be. We, this is bad. we colonized. We colonized I thirteen I of us. I right? don't know what yeah. happened on seventeen seventy six. I don't know if that was we, like the we, day we decided, or that's the day it became official, or we signed. It was signed, right? It was signed by John Hancock. It was. John Hancock Jefferson. was the guy. Thomas Jefferson. No, the Declaration of Independence was that on July fourth, seventeen seventy six. I don't know. <laughs> like I'm just saying. Like I don't know. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> and I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> and I don't know what it means. Anyway, we're gonna get people in the comments be like, "You're not thankful for your head, like for, for like your generations." Nope. Oh my gosh, <laughs> not. You, sh you should know. By the way, I have a, whatever. I'm not even gonna get into this. It'd be too much. But in in very very short, we have a friend of ours who I think you know of, but he always says that like everyone who like argues about America, or whatever, he's like pe most people have no understanding of the basic origin of America right. and how it became yeah. to be or like anything about like the I'll be Bill of Rights so, like, anytime they don't I meet someone who's like into that stuff I'm just like <sighs> no this person's an attorney that's okay but that's different <laughs> I'm talking about guys you, you there's always like one guy in high school just like into America like oh, he knows the constitution I'm just like alright buddy <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. this guy's an attorney alright Anyways, hold on a second. Where were you July 4th? Something happened in Baltimore you were telling me? What no, was that, was, that was the weekend. No, July 4th, I spent with our old friends from Yeshiva, uh, like Pikus and, and, and the crew. Nice. Uh, and then That's fun. Th what was, it was like a cute dichotomy because I went straight from there. And like It was like me hanging out with like, you know, my old life almost, and then right to the under the, the K bridge. You know that bridge that lights up at night? I can't pronounce it because it's just Kajioski. All, is Kajioski bridge? Kajioski <laughs> <laughs> it's all consonants. It's ridiculous. It's right off the beat. Not the. So there's the a there's a park. It's, it's the thing that connects Queens to Brooklyn. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a there's like a park under there, and House has through a party there, which is this. It is the sickest place to party in New York. It is because you're just. It was outdoors. Outdoors, That's so cool. you're seeing like you're protected from the rain because you're under a bridge. You see the sun going down. You see fires going off, but you're under a bridge. There's cars above you driving by, and you're just like going in. So it was really actually fun. pretty dope. It, it was really amazing. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was, it was a great July 4th. Why couldn't House of Yes just do a party in their space? No, they did also. And then I went from there to regular House of Yes for an after party. Oh, this was a real life. I had a day. And I was wearing an American flag like head to toe. And no one else was. And I was like, God dang. Yeah, I, I saw that you were wearing a lot of American flags. I was And then America. there were places where you weren't. Like your nipple. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of nip. A lot of nip show. I'm not super patriotic, but like, I love a good costume. Like, it's July 4th. Right. Like, that. It's like suit I up. Suit up. So it's like, I don't care about Halloween, but like, I'm suiting up. Yeah. 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 No one cares about it. <laughs> no one cares about it, but everyone kind of does because everyone wants yeah. a reason to party.
Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure if you go far enough back, most holidays, like in the secular, like Halloween and Christmas were probably mm-hmm. kill the Jew days, and then they just became <laughs> M&Ms and slutty nurses, but like, it was at one point killing Jews. Right. Yeah, my first uh, Halloween party came, which obviously Shmuley dragged me right into oh, it. Yeah. Uh, I'd never done Halloween in my life. Oh, well, so your yeah. parents didn't wouldn't even like put out candy. Right, so there was none of that. Your in parents my... for sure. My I grew up. We, we I don't know. We put, out, I don't know if we put out candy. If someone came to our door, we'd probably give it to them. First of all, no one. No, no one's coming. Stand the man, your dad. Your dad absolutely the type of person to give someone an apple. Yeah, uh, what <laughs> or fuck? gushers. It's good gushers. for you, baby. No gushers <laughs> is at least candy. No, my dad loves giving out candy a little bit, like the gushers stuff. I feel like he, no, am I not calling this right that he's the type of guy to be like? Right. It's not good for your teeth. Not calling it right. All right, all right. Not, I'm sorry, Sam. Yeah, I'm sorry. he's sorry. He thought that you were a. I thought you were a narc. No, you were a narc. You're not a narc, Ta. Time out. So what was Baltimore? You told me you were in Baltimore. The Sabbath. For what? Why would you ever go to Baltimore? My brother, bro. Oh, your brother's My in Baltimore. My brother. You know what I'm saying? I always have a hard time with people who live in Baltimore because I want to be nice <laughs> about it and I want to be like respectful, but you would never find me dead in Baltimore, bro. Dude, real talk, it's basically Brooklyn Jr. now. It's super New York. It is. It's just a satellite of New York. I the houses never, are nice. I, I would hope you never find me dead in Brooklyn. Also, except for the fact that sometimes I need to be there, and it happens. It happens to be thirty minutes away. So that you were going to be dead, it would probably be in Brooklyn or Baltimore, based on the amount. Of <laughs> yeah, 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 it's true. <laughs> yeah. Chicago, Baltimore, Brooklyn are the places you would be found dead like, <laughs> yeah. uh, for game related activity. But no, Baltimore, it was it was nice. Uh, I don't have any like stories from that. Just, I mean, we went on a hike in the rain, which I highly suggest everyone do. We got like absolutely drenched. It's amazing. I'm not sure if that's facetious or not. Not facetious. I thought it would suck. It was awesome. You really? went. What about it? it was already raining. It was a when thunderstorm. You, when you went for the hike, it was already raining. We like knew it was gonna rain, and we're like, we're doing it anyways. Interesting. Did you Literally see this covered in mud? Did you see this thunderstorm business last night or two days ago? No. What happened? In upstate, did anyone see any or anything about that? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what? What happened? It was a crazy storm two days ago. You're not aware at all. <laughs> or literally no you guys, I think I, that's two days ago was sunday that's, yes i was hiking in that storm i hiked in that you were there this past saturday yeah you, <laughs> i hiked in that storm that you're talking about yeah, you guys are clearly not aware of what is occurred. baltimore near upstate no it's not i mean it's two, you were, two when did you get back sunday night i am so confused i'm not even kidding when i say this sunday may have been the worst rain and storms in new york in the last five years i hiked through that <laughs> that mean people died. What? Yes, we dude. Didn't. Well, maybe you just didn't get. How do you as die from? How do you die from the wind? It's the wind. It's the wind. How did people die from rain? How do you die in a thunderstorm? We, Unless you're flooding, 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 flooding in the wind. Insane flooding. Insane. This guys, for everyone listening, this is in the Northeast. If you're not from here, you're gonna have no idea what I'm talking about. Rockland County, upstate New York. How do you die from a hurricane? No, that's different. No, this that's was like. This, this was, was torrential. It was just raining. No, no, no. It was torrential. To be fair, I, I don't My know if it actually said, was torrential because Label and his cronies uh, believe that just the just the thought of rain is torrential down for. No. Uh, think- are, you, are you like a cancel all plans at like a drizzle? Uh, first of all, I think- He's afraid I think, of all rain. I'm not afraid of- No, that's a lie. I'm not Aww. afraid of rain. I think rain is of the worst things that ever happened to the universe. <laughs> I am deathly- uh, Not deathly. It's the wrong word. I'm vehemently against snow. I think snow is one of the great really? tragedies ever before Wait, humans. That, you said truly like a boy who's never had a good snowball fight. He hasn't had anything. Bro, snow? He hasn't had anything. He hasn't had anything. <laughs> no. Like, it is cold. It is uncomfortable. Very good label, yes. It, it is, is only nice to look at for the first hour, and then you realize you have to shovel out your car, no, and you're like, hundred, fuck no, this. Shoveling is terrible. And, 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 and piss there's a beauty surrounding to it. and dog shit surrounding my house, and snow turning yellow, orange, and green is disgusting. He's, honestly, and you can't iced over after the, 24 hours. Disgusting. This the problem is, yeah. the problem is, is everything the label just said is you just grew up in a very low class community, and well, so you and, grew up also in urban, an urban snow low class community, which is York. fine. There, they have lots of shit and piss and all the other stuff, and like it's just not. You don't have any grass. You don't have any area to play with snowball fights or do anything yeah. else. So, okay, I grew well, up. That's not. It's not a class thing. Because it, again, it's urban. Because even millionaires in Manhattan, right? No, snow uh, is uh, also correct. Terrible. Yes, yes, yes. It's you urban. just didn't grow up yeah. in with a lawn. Correct. You didn't grow up with didn't space up, to that's play. True. It's nothing to do with fights. class. It's an urban thing. Yeah. If you grow up with space and like actual like grass and lawn and you know. I mean, it is also possible I never had warm clothing to be able to survive this stuff. I'm saying this. I just realized what happened is Shmuley <laughs> used this. He was like, 
Wait, I can <laughs> class warfare like Shmuley gets labeled because sh- <laughs> like labels killing it now. No, 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 no. I grew with money, bitch. No, 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 no. I grew up affluent. <laughs> Definitely grew up more affluent no, than dude, me. I'll this winter that. label, you got it. You got to also New York. Change your tune. I have a friend also that's going to be taking me snowboarding this winter, yeah, which you're I'm gonna love it. Super excited about because I've never for whatever we honestly the first time I ever went I went skiing one time. I lost both of my front toenails. <laughs> true, true story. Wait, wait, wait. That's. Not that's that's not that bad. Nah, Toenails. So that must be random. No, because the boots that they gave They're me were too, too small. Too small of course. And my I just lost. Is that normal? Dude, you no, could have lost like, your. I your head. honestly I couldn't sleep the whole night. I lost my front two toenails, which were dead. <laughs> And I've never, I gave up skiing surprisingly after that because I saw it as a torture sport. Okay, so I said, the hell with this. And I finally have someone that Who's is in my you? life that is going to be taking me snowboarding. What's and our over and under on label wait. being? Do we think he's going to be like regular, really, really bad, or like oddly very quick learner, good at Not snowboarding? quick learner. Not a quick Not learner. a quick learner. I don't think you'll be a quick learner at it. You think snowboarding is going to take me time to figure out? I think it's going to take you time to figure I out. I mean, you don't really show natural. You're not really. Advanced. No, no. He's natural, natural balance. He's naturally athletic. I don't know athletic. if balance is necessarily natural, but it's all feet and movement. And there's no hands. You can't. Label, get no, up for like, a it's not like you're this. dribbling a basketball or anything. Let me see your form. Do this. <laughs> Do this. Let me see. No. Dude, you're going to crash so many times. No, I'm going to be amazing. <laughs> it's all hips. You're just like this. Uh, I'm going to be awesome. <laughs> no, if that's Honestly, it, Label's going to get up the mountain and be like, no, 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 no. There's no way I'm doing this. There's no way people go I down this. I want to be very clear, and I always say this, that if I put my mind to snowboarding, I will be just fine. You'll be the number one snowboarder in the country. I don't think I'll be number one. Do but you I think, think that you can beat Lindsey Vaughn possibly at no. some point? I, no. <laughs> I <laughs> love the thing about it. It's not my strong suit. It's not my strong suit, but I think I can be very, very good. I think I'd be very, very I good. You. I, I know I'm a decently athletic human, so I, I think if you're athletic, you could be good at these no, things. No, the truth is I could see him being good. Most people are surprised when I tell them that I don't ski or snowboard because they think, oh, you dance or break dance or same thing. But I never got past pizza on skiing. Me neither. I never got past. I my toast nails fell off before I got past. <laughs> you did I ever tell you? First of all, I'm a terrible skier. Like, did I ever tell you my story skiing? But you're also when I was, you haven't. But you're also less in a certain way. You're more clumsy I'm, than I yes, am. Yes, I'm regard. not. I don't have good foot eye coordination. You're athletic, but you're clumsy. Correct. I have good hand eye coordination, and I'm decently athletic, but I don't have good foot eye coordination. Like I was never good at soccer or like rollerblading or any of that stuff. And my story is a great story going snowboarding. I don't know if I ever told it on this pod. But we used to go when we were in Wits, you know, the boarding school, school we yeah. used to go to. Um, when we were 16, they used to take us on a trip. And you can do the bunny hill if you didn't know how to go. Bunny hills are small hills. The I mean, people like, know, I know what that is. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically a bunch of 8 and 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds. This 16-year-old, only Warren, high school kid, is going down it. And basically what happened is, is I went down... And there is a wooden post right like at the end of it. But you're supposed to be able to stop before the end of it. Like there's plenty of space. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm doing pizza. I'm doing pizza. I'm doing pizza. Straight into the wooden fence. Okay. I'm sitting there obviously all (laughs) cockeyed. I get back up and they have that little pull thing. You either can go up. If you're up the mountain, you can go up on those, you know, seats and stuff. The ski lift. Or you go, you, you. You hold, you hold on. on to the cord. Yeah. Basically, I was holding on to the cord, and then my and my ski got stuck, and it flipped me upside down, and it dragged me along the snow, up up the ski lift. When there was a bunch of like seven and eight year olds just holding on like this, and you see this sixteen year old just like this, <laughs> all the way up the buddy hill. <laughs> so never mm-hmm. again. That was never like nine eleven. <laughs> I love that ending. That, and that was that was Shmuley's nine. I, I'll be honest. Class, no, wait, if we were ever together in high school, oh my god, we would have wrecked so much havoc. I'm, mean, I'm telling you straight that I, uh, when I was also same thing, pizza my first time. Aside from losing two toenails, I literally if you remember say the word that you lost two two no toenails. Like, we'll yeah, punch you. Way, it's so odd. I, I want to break off. them off now. You know, like it's a torture thing. I love oh he's also trying to pass it off as like it's like a trauma. There's like it's toenails. Like, you know. Are you insane? Do you know what it means to lose two toenails? I do actually. I've lost toenails before. Yeah, that's insane. This Anyways, the, the point is, is oh, that I, I just realized what you're talking about. You lost the whole nail. What do you like, think? I'm what do you think about? he's talking I about? I lost like the thin strip that goes, you know, beyond the toe. 
Like you cut your <laughs> you Bro, thought I that lost he just, my you toenail. thought that he cut his toenail by mistake? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like ah, yeah. oh, I didn't have a clipper like today, got, but like I went a, skiing. I thought you got a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> You're insane. No, but I literally, I'll never. I ran over oh. like a four year old. Like <laughs> I just cleaned out a kid. It's a miracle like he's alive. <laughs> no, like I didn't know where I was going. I was in class. I'm like, oh, I'm just going down a blue. Like I'm not wasting my time. Classic. I'm not doing the buddy. Straight to blue. Whatever. Oh, of course, it's a lady yeah, diamond. Yeah, that's I'm yeah. not. I am not. I'm surprised you didn't go straight to like black diamond. Like, no, like no, the no, hardest. Because no, even the, I was well, you know, a that. friend that me and you grew up with has the, like the actual worst snowboarding or skiing act. Which one? I'm not gonna say his last name. His first name was Aaron, but uh, oh, he was in a uh, his... different, different, different uh, boarding school, and he literally broke didn't his pelvis. Know, he broke every. Yeah, he broke like so many things. He, yeah, that was he, crazy. Imagine he didn't really know what he was doing. Went on like a black diamond hill. Didn't know what it was, and yeah, he woke yeah. up in hospital. My brother got a concussion. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Anyway, skiing is a scary thing. Yeah, Anyways, sure, we yeah. On. Um, yeah, let's rock and roll. So we got some stuff going on in the world. What's going on in the world? Yeah, I, I have a bunch of stuff written down here that needs to be talked about because I think the people need to know Talk our to opinions me. on everything. Go for it. Yeah, of course. Um, threads. Are we on it? Or are we not on it? So Do we I like it? Do signed, we not like I it? I signed this label up, up to it this morning. Oh, okay. We are an early adopter. Yeah. We're, we have 100 million people got to it first. Yeah, no, I feel like every single human in the world. 100 million people. It was the fastest Bro, I won't be uh, on there to 100 a... million of any social network ever. Really? It's crazy. I won't be on there for at least a good 6 to 12 months. I made an account. haven't looked at it once. Though. There's too many of these account, uh, social media I things. just I, I don't get the... Normally there are patents on things, right? And they last. I guess these patents are so much shorter because if it's the exact same thing as Twitter, how can they make it? Well, I, I think don't know if you if you tweak enough things, you can. You know, there's loopholes everywhere. Yeah, but it's I feel like it's all now. the same. It's not Twitter. Done. Right, it's and they change a few things. I, it's I, like MySpace and Facebook. The thing is, people think really think it's going to be that much better than Twitter. I mean, Twitter, Twitter's awesome in a way. It's also the worst place on the internet in terms of negativity. There's actually Threads is going to have negativity too. Yeah, exactly. Or they'll just censor everyone to the degree that there can't be anything. And then right. it won't be fun, and people will leave. And then they'll go to Truth Social. But nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Rumble, Peacock. Nothing makes me feel more of a like a boomer than when these. Yeah, I, I Threads was, is. How long did it take you to get on TikTok? How many years was TikTok? No, around? TikTok was. A, yeah, I mean, you were early. I was early relatively because it came out during, like, right before Corona. Yeah. And then everyone during Corona just basically went on TikTok. Oh, so I did not so get I on. was on TikTok from the first post. moment of Corona. Okay, you beat me by a lot. Well, COVID probably helped them a lot. Right. People were Co just sitting around. Correct. Were you on it Gary V, like, went clip? nuts on it. No. Gary V went nuts about it in, like, 2018, 2019 to get onto it, onto it, onto it. And I went onto it the second that Corona hit. Does uh does Harav Hagon Gary V have any uh words on threat? Has he been mentioned it? He probably yes. Will. He said download it. He said right he away. He always get on says it. that at genius the, at the beginning of anything you just get in early, get just in early, early, get in adapter, early, yeah. get in early. But it sounds like there's no getting in early here because hundred mil, million hundred mil already joined. Yeah, you're not cool anymore for being what on is, threads. It's just Twitter. I don't even know. It's just now Twitter retroactively. For, for I'm his... cool for not being on threads. Also, it, it's a link to your Instagram, so you automatically see the person. Someone told me that if you delete your threads, you do, you can't you cannot delete your threads without deleting your Instagram. They didn't tell you that when you joined. They didn't oh, tell you that. Serious? Zuckerberg is like throwing bitches. down an apple of social media now. Like you have to have everything connected, yeah. and if one thing's not connected, then you're screwed. Are you being serious? I am being serious. Threads is just a Zuckerberg Twitter. First of right? all, Zuckerberg is becoming more villainous because have you seen like the pictures from recently? First, he's getting jacked. Not jacked. He's getting like cut. A little Jeff Bezos action. Yeah, I feel like, like he's just upset at, at at all the people that want him to be taken down. Yeah, like after all those. I think he's uh, also happy that he, he is finally a billionaire that people dislike more. Like because right now Elon is at like an all time most dislike right is now. He? Yeah, I'm who? saying the whole a large portion of the world does not like Elon. I know some people some people are diehards, but he's hated right now. That's part by of who. Well, first yeah, all, I understand he's hated by twenty five percent, maybe, but no, I think fifty percent hate him. Yeah, yeah, his approval rating is shot down. A lot of it, some of it's oh. political and stuff he says. A lot of it is also just people hate what he did with Twitter. They don't like some of the ideas. And Zuckerberg used to be like the main villain, and now he's, uh, you know, he's he's trying to like win his spot. But I don't know. They're both heavily autistic. That's all. I, <laughs> that's all I know. It happens yeah, to be funny. No, Remember, they, you they saw I showed you that them. Instagram thing that I sent you, the Which the one? video. Which one? I sent you a video of Musk walking into his Tesla in the comment section. Well, dude, they're there. They're... Oh, you sent me there. I didn't look at the comment section. Well, it's like it's like pull it up our... right now. Is that not one of the great comment sections of all time? Pull it up right now. Oh yes. Yeah, it's, it's, Come on, Zach. it's like our original episode of Mislabeled. But that was these comments were of the great comments. First of all, Shmuley, we'll, we'll put it up on this game. Shmuley, you have to see. Uh, watch the video, please. It's literally just him walking into his Tesla. Oh. <laughs> but he's got like. No, you have to go to the comment section after you're done watching. They're the just video. going. 
after his body shape. Man's built Read like it out loud. Man's built like a deep breath. You know, bro looks horrendous naked. Weak. Ah, walk animation. Bro thinks he's a Tesla owner. Interesting build, that's for sure. He's too rich to be shaped like a minions villain. <laughs> bro built like a bag of milk. <laughs> <laughs> bro built like Gru. Bro, bro built like a fridge. <laughs> Why bro sit like that? First of all, the amount of bro going on. <laughs> but I thought the funniest, the low-key funniest one was like, bro really thinks he's like the owner of Tesla or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> I usually don't condone body shaming, but he gon' get these jokes. <laughs> bro built like he's holding his breath. Why is he sitting like that? Why does he sit like that? Why does he walk like that? These people are really going after his sitting and walking. Like, <laughs> it's like the most innocuous he, he, video. Like, if, it, 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 it's literally just the most... Okay, he's getting into a it's car. Him living, yeah, people are after. It's him. literally just him getting into a car, but but <laughs> him walking is he he does have a determination in his walk that is in the way that he's waiting for the car door to go up. It's like he's <laughs> I don't know how to exactly explain it, but he's he is like a super villain. <laughs> he's got a good waddle on him. He has got a good waddle. Zach, There's a rumor yes, going around. Ahead. And I want you guys take on it. Rumors that Kim Kardashian is dating Tom Brady. All right. I actually want to give my take first on this because I think it's very, very... I've been thinking about this a little bit since I saw it. So a lot of people have come out and given their opinion. In fact, my per, one of the people that I hold in high regard as far as their takes in life... Label has uh, lost sleep over this. I, I've definitely lost sleep. But one of the people... I, I'm not hearing anyone say exactly what should be said. Okay? Which is what? In fact, Dave Portnoy, who usually calls it as it is... He even re refrains from saying exactly what needs to be said. The way he basically put it was, Tom Brady, you can't do this. I'm a long life Boston uh, uh, Patriots fan. And Kim K is page six, Daily News. You're Tom Brady, you're Giselle. He kind of refrained from calling it what it is. Um, if being a hoe was zero to 10, Kim Kardashian's an 8.3 on his pizza rating. That's like where she is. As far as I'm concerned, she kind of has like two great, two like accomplishments in life. One is like criminal justice reform. The other is her sex tape. And her sex tape has done a lot more for society than criminal justice reform. <laughs> like a lot more. It's not, it's actually not even close. And I think everyone watching this would agree. And I don't think there's anything more that needs to be said to explain why Tom Brady and Kim K is terrible. Tom Brady, Tom, I'm your son. You're like my father. Imagine your child, okay, growing up and hearing you being involved with Kim right after he watched Kim. I mean, imagine that for a second. That's a disaster. <laughs> I am your kid. I look up to you. We and look, and we as look your up kid, Label watches that sex tape daily. It lies. <laughs> I am saying that at the end of the day, weekly. I am saying at the end of the day, right? Tom Brady is uh, is class. Kim K is Kim K. Why not even Kim Kardashian is the least thing called class. And I'm not. And and even Dave, who normally says it exactly as it is, he was jumping around. You know why? Because at the end of the day, he's a celebrity. He doesn't not want a war of where he will say that Kim Kardashian's a hoe. He doesn't want that. So he avoided. She's page six. She's he literally danced around the whole topic. Dave, I'm telling you what you should have said. She's a hoe, straight up. That's what she is. And no one wants Tom Brady, who's a Legends of an icon in class who dated, who yeah, was married to Giselle. He's supposed to be that guy, not to cut you off. He's supposed to be that guy that is successful, that just he is class. His decisions are thought out, they're calculated. There, There's Brady Brand, there's TB12 method. There's this is like, I this like is not TB12 idea. method. This is not Brady Brand. Everything's going to come crumbling down, you and, know what? and the he's, whole world is going to crap. You know what he's, it's like? worked, Imagine, he's worked a long life. He's done a lot of accomplishments. He's had so much scrutiny, so much pressure. Okay. He's letting loose for the first time in his life. He's, he's always rise, rose above it. He's always no. rose above it, Tommy. And, hold on a second. In respect to Dave. Also, this is not going to be the weirdest person he's had sex with. That one is definitely Bill Belichick. <laughs> okay, that was the kinkiest thing. That was the kinkiest relationship he's been involved in. They were definitely sucking each other's toes, right? So then, you know, like I mean, Deflate Gate was not really about the footballs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's gonna try to deflate Kim's breast implants. <laughs> 
And by the way, no one's thinking about this from Kim, but I'm gonna I'm gonna empathize with Kim. I know what I know what you're doing, sweetie. I know what you're doing. Look, Pete was great, but I was like, say, I need. She wants a mensch. If you need, she dated any, a, a bit if, of a, a bit of a any, crackhead. If you need any, <laughs> she dated a crack whore. And <laughs> if you need any Raya to, right, proof to what I was saying about the fact that Kim from zero to ten on the host scale is an eight point three, she outwardly said, literally publicly on, uh, what was it, Saturday Night Live, that she's only involved with Pete because one reason. I get into it here. Oh, I think that was a joke. It was not a joke at all. It was when she literally. She, there's no, there's no way she's like, yeah, that is literally. She wouldn't say that. That's like the most offensive thing. The only reason I'm dating him. That the was only, a joke. She was later. no, it was not a joke at all. No, it wasn't. She said I'm straight. Let you guys hash this one out. <laughs> I'm being honest. Uh, I'll tell you why that was a joke because surprisingly, Kim Kardashian was probably true. has access to other large members. <laughs> she's Kim Kardashian. Like no, she but liked Pete him. Davidson is known. No, but he. But I'll tell you, it's joke. It's. It's twofold. Fuck you guys are No, one second. It's <laughs> if you're from and you're watching this, turn this off right now. It's twofold. Wait a second. It's twofold. I think that it there is truth to it. That's not the only reason she did, but I think that's the reason that she got intrigued. <laughs> because like there's this mythical, like, there's this yeah. mythical creature going around. Her, like, that's a win. Like <laughs> Yeah, Pete Davidson is like is like uh seeing a unicorn in the forest, but the, uni <laughs> the unicorn Pete has capital. bags under its eyes and tattoos and it's Pete Capital D Davidson, and she just wanted to know what the last name was all about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I'm just being honest. I, I, everyone knows, and I, I just wasn't a fan that no one was saying it as it was, and like people are scared to like say what the say the. Also, just like he he's I, if you follow Tom, like. Also, I was so upset and hurt when he got. <laughs> I love by the way when he got divorced. The to level, now the stoop, level that label label doesn't now, believe in marriage now. To now stoop even a lower <laughs> level. would have much rather his own parents got divorced than Tom Brady. <laughs> to stoop another level down? He'd be like, listen, my own parents, I can deal with it. Okay, I'll go to a little therapy. Like, how is he ever going to recover from Tom? I don't know, man. To stoop another level down to Kim Kardashian. No, no, no. Imagine George Clooney got involved with Kim Kardashian. It'd be a disaster for society. <laughs> I love how society is taking a hit. 100%. 100%. That'd be terrible. It would be absolutely terrible. Kind of like Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky. Mm. I think I think Jordan Peter. I'm calling it next. Jordan Peterson's going to date Kim K. Oh, that would be that would wild. that would be gonna wild. Cheat with Kim By K. the way, we should come up. You know, like Ellen DeGeneres has like she on her show. She like will bring someone on and like just put a bunch of celebrity faces. Like pick one, which one you want to like. You know, whatever. We should get <laughs> get. I mean, we can't, but get like Kim Kardashian and just start putting up a bunch of people that are like very respectable. <laughs> Gaber Mate. <laughs> Honestly, that hurt me. That actually hurt me. Don't say that. That actually hurt me. And it's also it's Gabor. Could you imagine Gabor Mate spotted with Kim K making out? Can we? I don't like this joke at all. You see them? I don't like this joke. That actually hurts. You saw that? Instead of your Pete Davidson jokes, I feel nauseous. I feel a little nauseous. Gabor Mate seen holding hands at local coffee. No, 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 no. No, but I yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I think, by the way, I think the whole thing at the end of the day with Tom, Tom Brady and Kim Kardashian, I think it's BS. Yeah, it's got to be. Well, talk about Michael Rubin's party, though, bro. Yeah, that that's, was crazy. That's crazy. Zach, the amount of you people in one that? room. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone's making such a big deal. A really rich guy had a bunch of famous no, people no, at his house. The amount wow. of people in one room. That was like, that's wow. absurd. That was no. absurd amount. Wow. When's the last time you've seen all of that? That's an absurd amount. I don't know. Man. I'll tell you who wasn't there. Anyways, hello. Actually, I don't know if, if we're learning one thing from this podcast, um, it's that. Celebrities are just people. <laughs> that was such a wow, douchey thing to Zach. say. Guys, celebrities wow, are really guys, just people. They're just like us. They're all going to die one In, day. Celebrities aren't just like you. They're like me, Label, and Shmuley because we are also celebrities. They're not. <laughs> we are not like you, the normal viewer. We are better. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, you know what I'm looking at now. I'll tell you who was not at the no white party. I'll at. tell you who was not. Oh. Larry Nestor. <laughs> Larry Nasser, <laughs> that yeah. guy. All right, so why do we bring him up? What's going on? I mean, Larry? he had his own white party, but <laughs> what, what kind of white party was that? Oh, his white party. Okay, I thought you were talking about a prison. I'm like yeah. trying to put the dots. <laughs> That's together. an orange party. <laughs> no, it's an orange party. But this guy, orange is the new stab. This guy got <laughs> this, that was, that was this guy got stabbed in prison so many times. And honestly, well, I'm who not. Is he? People don't. Okay, people so don't Larry know. Nasser is the is the was the like medical trainer, medical staff, whatever for uh, uh, for, for, all, for all the Olympians or whatever. And I don't he, think he's a household. And he maybe. touched like 350 accounts over of, like, years. Yeah, over like 20 years. He went he ham. Went, he went ham. Complete ham. 
<laughs> he's just like he had his hand in every cookie jar. <laughs> One of the most accomplished. Like, like, like you know, like there's a basketball term, like to if you want to use your follow through, it's like put your hand in the cookie jar. He took that way too far, <laughs> and he basically went to prison, which he should have and should never go out. But anyways, he got stabbed a million times, and I think he got stabbed for the amount of times he he got touched. For the amount of times that he touched others, yeah, and it's is he alive? He's alive. No, yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, he's still Which alive. Which is good. I'm glad he's still Look, alive. Look, I'm not. It, it's, I'm not. It's like worse. It's like cool. he's gonna be like. Yeah. So much like better. honestly, there's justice. I'm not. I'm not gonna say like, like that he deserved it. Blah blah. blah. But like he deserved this it. This is by like, very par for the course. This is like a known thing in prisons. I mean, yeah. I don't know if I don't. I didn't. I didn't look into the case. I know that he touched a lot of like 16, 17 year olds. I don't know if he was also like doing stuff with like actually like little kids. I probably was. But right, like yeah, I don't know. child molesters do not fare well in prison. Like yes, some dude them. who murdered his family is still going to like stab you. It's so weird. What's the I think I, 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 think I, I want to understand. I'll that. tell you what I think I think the chilek is defenselessness and like like you don't mess with children, you don't mess with people that don't have you the mess ability. With children or but that's also so skewed in its own right. The guy who just murdered his wife is like now like Well, I made that up. I don't know if it's the I'm, wife murder. Whatever it is, well, no, who is it? you know, the white, you know, no. the right criminal, the white collar people. No, are but let's, let's I think it's the a don't mess who... with children thing because children don't have any ability to like. If you're in prison because you you themselves. shot a guy over over cocaine, right? Over over like gang gang activity. So yeah, you lived a rough life and like you you're probably gonna live with a regular life or whatever. You're hard, you're tough. But this is something else. This is like it's also it's like total some, defenses. It's also someone did something to you. Like it's like I think they view it like. You know, even if it's domestic abuse or different things, I'm not saying this is right, but like, your maybe your wife did something to you, maybe your husband did something to you. <laughs> but maybe, let's be honest. <laughs> but like, and, and like, the, the the other person overreacted. Whatever, there's a bunch of things boiling up. Like, this is like a child. Like, this is a kid. No, like, I it's hear different. Her. But here's the main but point. Even, uh, you but I'm bring not up condoning this. any of it. <laughs> but the main point when you bring about this is that the Jews have had such bad PR lately with with the sexual abuse. It's crazy. Because how's the, that? Because we're just we're putting numbers up on the board, the Yidden right now, okay? First like of all, we put numbers up on the board with everything. with everything, Start but for that. usually for good, okay? Just Weinstein, Kanye. Weinstein, that's big, big Jew energy, huge Epstein, Jew energy. Epstein, perhaps gonna go down history as the most famous sexual deviant, literally in history. Jeffrey Epstein, super Jew, and now Nasser also super Jew. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like Nassau <laughs> County, like it sounds like he's named after the Five Towns, and it's just it's bad, it's bad. That yeah, we're it is bad got all news these, for the Jews. Like incredibly Jewy, we need. I, I don't want there to be no more molesting. But if there is gonna be, <laughs> what about can the it Catholics? Be Smith, Wait, can you? Can it be Smith next? What about time? the Catholics? Aren't the Catholics? What do you mean? I don't want no more molesting. You want to take that back? I don't want any more oh, oh, molesting to said, happen in the oh, world. I thought, you, I thought you said. Oh, I'm personally done molesting. Yeah, yeah, no, done. I thought you said like I don't. I don't. No, no. I thought you. Said, I don't want no more. Molesting. I don't want no yeah. more molesting, which means he I want more. To, oh, if there's going to there's gonna be more, let's make sure it's a Jones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Here's my question: Aren't the Catholics like very into this? That and, is like, actually a good against, point. That they're is up yeah. against the Jews. Maybe this is just the Jews once again, like edging their way into a Catholic industry like law, and in one day you're going to be like. Christians used to, to practice. It's also that we're just a small minority of human beings, and like so every every single action that's taken. I think it's like it, just, it just is everyone now. It's like all yeah. Jews. I think we're just, one yeah. Jew does one thing. Everyone one dude like five own real estate. Everyone owns real estate. Yeah. I think we're just extremely competitive. We're it's just really competitive. What I, I, it's really what I think it comes down to. So if we you're need a dirt to be bag, the best. You're competitive. Yeah, we need to be the best. No, if we see that a bunch of Catholic priests are molesting people, we're like, we need to get in on this. I mean, it, it, not all Jews, but if you're a dirtbag Jew, then you you like. Meaning Epstein grew up. I mean, looking you're at starting the, to split hairs already. I'm not even. I'm trying being to protect as, the like, rest of the Jews. Right, so I'm not even trying to do like this. Is clear. This is comedy to me. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like no, fine. You, you know that Epstein was like growing up, like reading the reports about like the church, and was like, I can do better. Yeah, hundred percent. I can do better. He he felt the same way with money, probably. Like you saw money and molesting is like the same idea. Yeah. It's like I could do better with money, I could do better with molesting, I could do better with whatever yeah. else. Yeah. Hundred percent. I forgot about the the I actually just watched that movie, Spotlight. It's about the the church thing. Good movie. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Good good I shit. I didn't watch that. Good shit. Um good shit. Can we just talk about it for a second? I, this actually goes into Schmuck of the Week, Hero of the Week. Welcome to Schmuck Schmuck of the Week. I want, I want Schmuck of the Week, Hero of the Week, and label go with the Schmuck of the Week. No, Wait, problem. no I want to hear the jingle that you had. Schmuck of the week. There we Hero go. of the week. Uh, <laughs> no. All right. The schmuck of the week is uh, Jonah Hill's ex-girlfriend. The hero of the week is Jonah Hill himself. Uh, and, and I can tell women are going to love this take. I do not give a flying fuck 
Okay, just to clarify my stance on this. Lord and by the sure. way, I disagree with you a million percent. I think a ton of women, when they see this story and they read this, they will 100% agree with me. They and might. not only that, I looked at comment section after comment section after comment section, which is where all the general, you could tell from a comment section what most people think. The consensus, yeah. A hundred percent. I'm telling you straight. Every And I don't honestly, I don't, know I don't typically give a damn about the comment section. I just was like trying to figure out my nuts. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you, so you, you have to read the story for yourself to get an understanding and like, it, I have the text like, here. Basi I also text. Do, so I'm holding on to it here. So, so the idea basically is at the end send of the day, me. the idea basically is exactly. at the end of the day, send here's the article. I'll send it to you right now. Uh, this is the you article. You're just going to screenshot me the... Okay. So, so, so the article basically is, is that Jonah Hill's ex-girlfriend came out against him because... And, and, and she felt that... Basically, she came out against him and released all their private text messages. Okay, about how he was misogynistic against her and how he was sexist against her and all these different things that she claims that he was to her. Okay? okay, that was the context of the thing. Now, aside from the fact that she's a total dirtbag to begin with by the fact that she's releasing intimate private messages between her and him, okay, which is total douchery behavior to begin with. You're in a private intimate relationship zone. You don't ever release their messages, especially to throw them under the bus because you know they're famous. Aside from that, the, the 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 context, you have to read the text messages and what he basically said. So these are the messages she released. He wrote to her as follows. Plain and simple. If you need to, surf with men, have boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexual pictures, or have friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful, I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it, and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. My boundaries with you based on the ways, my boundaries with you based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust. You're right, we can't do, you're right, we can't do surf social things or develop trust until you consider me and make decisions that give regard to our relationship. I have been vulnerable as possible, and I'm telling you I am needing you to set up, to step up to the plate, which you can, I am sure of it. But these losers don't get your time if you want me. Straight up, it's consideration. I respect your love of surfing, but I respect myself as well. And your love of surfing and being in those situations, a lack of awareness, are not mutually exclusive. This isn't me. I have my own issues that I own. What are you reading? <laughs> Am I reading the wrong thing? No, you just keep... Can't, that's that's can't not done. That just was, stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just reading the messages. No, it's good, done. but don't have to read all the messages. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading. No, no, I went through. There's just like one message that was, was that went viral, and I somehow. No, okay. Are you reading? Is that Jonah Hill's phone? How do you have access? No, to it's the New York Post article. Oh, that's Basically, amazing. So go with the. Uh, so my okay. take is very very simple. He is again. I'm not saying. Look, I'm not saying at the end of the day he is not. I'm not saying at the end of the day that maybe some of his, you may think that some of his requirements and his expectations are unreasonable for you. That's fine. You can believe whatever the hell you want to believe, but he's not being a douche. He's telling you straight up, this is what works for me. This is what I need to feel comfortable and safe in my relationship. He's being very expressive, very honest. He's not forcing her to do anything. He's not being emotionally manipulative. He's mm -hmm. saying, if this doesn't work for you, that is totally okay. This is what I feel comfortable doing. I, I see yeah. literally zero wrong with it. Imagine any religious person straight up saying, I don't want you to be on the co cover of Playboy. I don't want you hanging around all my guy friends surfing in a bikini. I don't feel comfortable with that. I have certain standards that I want to live by. If this makes you happy, which is what he literally said, by all means, go do that. Just if you want to be in a relationship with me, I have these things that I need for my own yeah. peace of mind. It's fine if you can't do them. Just let me know. That's literally what he said. So I'm just, and she is coming out publicly but, and throwing mm -hmm. him under the bus. That's it. And, and saying yeah. like he's some sort of like emotionally manipulative, abusive person, which is total well, classic. Can I ask a question? Bullshit. Yeah, you can ask a question. Yeah. Why? How is this manipulative? Right. I'm not. I actually, I, I don't exactly Meaning know. Meaning what did she say? I want to know what, what was her response? She said she's a manipulative. She's saying that these are the messages she released. Yeah. Um. No, no, I'm saying, what did she say about the messages that he's that, I that actually he's, don't know what she's manipulative? Said about the like, because whatever her, whatever her uh, argument against him is, or whatever her take against why she released them is a major part here. If she's just yeah. saying this guy is not for me, and like, no. look at, and one second, and look at what you know, look at what he's expecting. Okay, you guys expect different things, but if she's like this is manipulative, I don't see anything manipulative in it. So I, can I? I yeah, go I, ahead. I want to see my take. take. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so this I, I think I think there's some nuance here. First of all, I do give him credit. Like, this is definitely a man who is like trying. 
Like, he is, he's trying. There's a lot that's good here. A lot. A lot. And I also fully agree with you that, like, no matter, even if this was much, much worse and more manipulative, do not post your your someone's private yeah, conversation yeah, I, to, I hate to that. social media. That's, I hate that. It's a weird thing that, like, people Literally do nowadays. They think it's okay. It's not okay. It's really not okay. I hate okay. It. I feel like, I don't know the context of the whole relationship, obviously, but I feel like all of these things would sound so much better if he talked about the way, like if he said like, this is how I feel. Like if he sent it around, when you do this, I feel this way. When you do this, I feel this way. But the way he said it, it sounds more of like he's like laying down laws and then as an aside at the end to make it sweeter, he went, but it's okay if it makes you happy, then we just have to break up. But like if, if he had just centered it, you... When you are critiquing something or when you're setting a boundary, you have to be like, what you do makes me feel this way. There's no, there's nothing of how it makes him feel. It's just, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. It's great if it makes you feel happy, but then I don't want you out of my life. Why don't you say, Jonah, how does that make you feel? Whoa. Because then there's a, a, a real opening there for vulnerability where he could have been like, when you do this, let's say surfing with men, I feel insecure. It makes me feel jealous. Even those words, I think, would have gone a you long way towards like softening this. At the end of the day, also, there's an important context here, which is she's a professional surfer. So I think that's like a really, really important thing. I totally get like uh, you you not wanting your girlfriend to like hang out a lot with men. She's like surfing with them. She's a professional surfer. It's it's kind of like. So. And he knew that she was a professional surfer right, going so that in I, when he started dating her. So that I agree with. The fact you know? that he knew what he was getting into. That yeah. that for sure. She didn't act differently. But what you're saying is you actually you agree with the content some for the most part of what Jonah said. You just don't agree with how he went about it. Yeah. Uh, like like per usual. I don't think anything here is crazy. I, I, you just okay. don't like how the way that he that he laid it out instead Well, that of, and the surfing thing. I, again, I do think you knew she was a surfer. So like it's right. weird. So, okay. to so you're saying issue. that you agree with ninety percent of like what he's saying, but like surfing but with men, like yeah. she's he gonna serve as men. You know this. in his own feelings. But like, um, like to again, there are certain things that are obvious no nos to post sexual pictures. Um, but like I agree with oh Zach, no, the I, last one I actually really I agree don't with like. Zach on this to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit or to model whatever. Like that's her. That she's right. a surfer, but, right? You know, it, that, some of them okay, weren't no, like I, sexual. I, uh, yes and no. I mean, I think in that case, he has the right to just break up. Right. Like, Yeah, but it is weird that like the way he's putting this puts a lot of it on like, I love you, you love me, this is great. Like, they were in love with each other, but I'm not the partner for you because you do this, but it's okay if it makes you happy. It's like, bro, she's a professional surfer. You knew she was a professional surfer. It's one thing if she's doing, you know, the butt model on Instagram thing. I think, I don't know. I don't I know if she is or not. But like, yeah. just a picture of a, we can all agree that like, just a picture of you like holding a surfboard in a bikini is not sexual and like it's her job she's a yeah, surfer so I, I, okay so that's that's a fair question that, i know that, but also but i would still say another thing yeah there's no emotional abuse here like you could to, to petty uh, by the way to claim that there's emotional abuse and sit there uh earring dirty laundry it, I it does, you're, you're doing it, a disservice, yeah. disservice to the to actual real emotional abuse. Yes. 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 Yes.
and it's, it's a little, a little de- bit de- shaming. Demonizing. It's a little bit demonized, a little shaming. He's literally saying the word slut without saying the word slut. He's basically saying you have like shitty, slutty, immature friends, which is like, oh, like they're her friends. Like maybe she's known them for years. Like that is a little controlling. When, when, when we would all hate it if a girl we were dating was like, label, I just, I don't like where Shmuley's at in life. I think I need to stop hanging out. He's kind of a wild man. Like you would hate that. You'd be like, Dude, get out of my right. life. Like, get out of my life. Like, that's so controlling. Like, like you could you could not necessarily like all the people that your partner's friends or whatever, but then to go and use them as a reason to, you know... Break up. Break up. and, on, and Hold top, it as an ultimatum. Like, if you ultimatum? Keep like, you can say, you can be honest. Like, by the way, I don't vibe with this person. That person doesn't vibe with me. Maybe we can just hang out with them in group settings. Maybe you can hang out with them one-on-one, yeah. one, but I don't always have to be there because He put it general, on, like, a laundry list. Like, it's just he, like, put thing. it out. But that it also feels a little bit like, this, I, I could, again, I could be totally speculating, but it feels like this is, like, a wit's end, like, message. Like, he's just, like, pissed off at this point. Well, that's right. Like, so that's possible. a context that we just don't know. Yeah. We just don't know. I'm going off of one text, and I agree that there might be more context, and I don't think he's evil, but if I was looking at this text. As, like, a, like if a therapist looked at this, I think they'd agree with like what me and Shmuel are right. saying. That it's like so I would say I, I'm not saying it's a perfect message. I'm just also saying that. But those are like deep. I, I don't like specifically. Just to be clear, I don't like the emotional abuse. Right. So okay. So intense. Like get, like just bullshit. Okay. Just stop. So you're so, in a relationship. It went south. It's not perfect because no relationship is. Let's not sit here and pretend that you, that you're in Auschwitz. You're not. Okay, well, everything's gonna whoa, be okay. But okay. Well, it's, it's the same we, we I... don't decide what emotional abuse is. We can't. Yes, we do. We're not the yes, arbiters. Yes, of... we do. Yes, we do. We're not gonna allow this to be called emotional abuse because there are people actually suffering real emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is an actual manipulative, clear, definable thing. That's not this. Okay. Here we see. It's, like it's like when the hashtag freaking, Me Too movement ridiculous. came out. It's, it's like ridiculous. there are tons of people that it's valid. All this stuff. But then people are coming yeah. out of the woodworks here and there and there. It's like it invalidates the, the people that actually are a part of What What would you say is an example of like um, re- a boyfriend, girlfriend style emotional Manipulative abuse. behavior. Example. Manip- manipulation. Some people is, were looking at this as manipulation. It's not manipulative. So There's okay, nothing I'm manipulative. Asking. He's saying very clearly Wait, what so I, I want and what I don't want. What is an example? Okay, manipulative behavior would be. He's fucking with someone's brain. Like, uh, too general. Like what? what is that? I don't know. You're giving an example. You want me to give you an example in a second? Um, I'm just wondering. I don't know how this, to, telling someone like, "Hey, I love you, but I'm not the not part of you after years of being with you because your friends aren't in the right place." So I need you to stop hanging out. That's not manipulative. There's it's nothing manipulative. It's kind of holding so, your guys' relationship hostage. No, it's so not. I you think, can walk away. You can say this can guy's crazy. Word? I'm walking away. Yeah, yeah sure. Go. Okay, so I think there's <laughs> so I think there's Renee four. Brown? Yeah, no, I think there's four things here. I think number one, um, when it comes to the emotional abuse aspect, it's thrown around way too easily. I agree with that. Number two, if Jonah Hill was got into a relationship with a surfer, that comes along with things. He has to own that. Mm-hmm, if he got into the relationship and then is expecting the person to change and that person didn't change mm-hmm. and now is using it to demonize them, that is emotional mm-hmm. manipulation, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. That, is, mani- that is manipulation. Meaning, if they're, in the, if they're in a relationship for six months, for I, and I would give an example on a religious level, right? In general, right? If you get in a relationship with someone in, in, the, in any world, Christian, Muslim, Jewish world, whatever it is, and you expect a certain religiosity out of out of someone, and you say, I'm okay with this amount of religiosity, and then six months or 12 months later, you decide that you're not okay with that, and you and say, I'll break up with and you I'll unless... break up with you if you don't do this, this, and this. It's like you just lied to me for the past six to 12 yeah. months, right? Yeah. right? You have to be open and communicate about that. So, so in that regard, he's coming off really, really wit's end. So if you're coming off wit's end, you better, he and we don't know this, he better have put that out at the beginning, that these are certain things that you need to start working towards from the beginning, yeah. right? Right, and those are things we don't know. Those are things we don't know. And then, this is the problem: is that the whole world is judging and then on, a relationship and then, based off correct. And then text. the third thing is obviously putting it on social media. Bull crap. We I think we all agree we all that agree on that. We all agree on that. Putting these things on you social media. You lose all your in, in Judaism. Putting Nemonist, your your belief putting all these things putting on social on, media is all bull crap. It's such a low it's insane. Move. It's so insane. It's it's a someone actually asked me on um I did one of those not gonna lies on Instagram and someone asked me are you dating someone and I'm like. Unless like you see that I'm dating someone on Instagram, like let's uh, let's say I have an Instagram, like I've been in a relationship for a year or two, and you see me with the person, and therefore you don't have to ask the question. Do you think you would? How long? Yeah, do you think I, you if would... I was dating someone for a year or something, I, I would you probably, would, I probably, th- I would probably post a picture of them. No, like, what I'm saying is, no, 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 I'm coming from the opposite end, dude. I think it's totally normal to post your boyfriend or girlfriend, your significant right. other, but you think you it would take you a year? I don't know how long. Posting? I don't know how long it would take it's a me. Feel. I don't I'm know. Like how, I don't know. Six how, dates in, bro. She's getting all over. I don't know how long it would take, but unless you know that for sure, like mm-hmm. unless 
Like, you'll know if I'm in a relationship or not, if I want you to know if I'm in a relationship. The person asked, are you dating someone, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not going to tell you that. Yeah. Like, that's not something I'm airing on social media. Oh, but also, right? to the person who asked that question, that's not a crazy you question. It's not a yes. crazy question. Yeah, yeah whatever, whatever. I'm just not, I'm I'm just not airing that thing. Shmuley thinks you're an idiot, and you should be more private, and you're a bad person. No, as it's like, you, you, as you, big of an idiot as Zach thinks you are for asking what red flags are with women. No, that is... <laughs> You're right. I could, it was just, a good question just, the first you time. You could just write yes or no. I just think in general, wanting that, it's it's just wanting that out of someone's personal life is very... Privacy is at an that, all-time, all-time out of vogueness. Like, no one likes privacy anymore. We all want to And the truth everything. is, uh, practice what you preach. I am on a podcast exposing half of my life. So... I don't practice we're what still, I preach. We're still, we're only talking about I the don't things know, man. I'll about. just tell you, listen, at the end of the day... No like, one on the podcast it, knows that you thing have rubs I, I, I wrong. I don't have it at the end of the day. I, I have no problem calling someone evil. I just didn't see this at the end of the day as a egregious of enough act for sure to, to air it. Yeah, to air it, to call it emotional B abuse. Is that, uh, yeah, like, just, not, just not please. There it. are people out going through real serious emotional abuse, real serious manipulation that have narcissistic people just breathing down their throat that can't even think straight anymore. It takes them four years to recover. Also, from, go, like, to a, go to a, go just to just a stop. private therapist. Yeah, go I don't know, just why, just why are you putting it on social media? Whatever. I didn't see it. I mean, oh, yeah. I just didn't see it. But I, I see both. I see, obviously. Hey, yeah, hundred percent. I see way, both sides. Just to be clear, if he was a pro surfer, if she's a pro surfer, he's coming into the relationship, and that was the expect. This is you're hundred percent right. Of course, right. it's a no brainer. It's like my two. It's main, like marrying my, freaking a model and being like, you can't go on the runway. Right. Like, dude, what the hell is wrong my, with you? I agree with you on, on on some of the points. My two main points anti Jonah, without any context, is definitely the and shaming her past. Is shaming their past with the friends right, with. is like right. I just think horrendous behavior, yeah. and and then the the fact that he knew she was a surfer is like bro. Right. Okay, I hear that. I hear, but yeah, I hear okay. both of those. Moving on. Uh, so that was the, your your response. Do you have a rant this week though? Um, yeah, there is something that came to mind. Um, first of all, does anyone? Oh, I have. Oh, yeah, we have yeah, two yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> so Not let's bad. just recap. Your schmuck of the week is her, and your hero of the week is Jonah Hill. Even though we just had a debate about the whole. Are thing. you willing to die? Are on you willing that to Jonah die Hill? on those hills now? On that Jonah Hill. Hey, very good. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> Comedy. I don't get the joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jonah Hill. You're saying the Hill? Wow. Um, um, you, my friend, are so much dumber than you look. Um, you I'm just look thinking. Dumb. You look dumb. I'm thinking. So. <laughs> Wait, what'd you ask him? You already did this here on Schmuck. So yeah, I, what would you? No, I, I was asking if he's gonna stick on that hill. I mean, I, I schmuck and, and hear the week I, after I, the I, debate. I'll be honest; it's good to have these conversations because I, I didn't realize she was. I, I'll be honest; I didn't realize that she was as pro of a surfer as you're making it seem. Or like, there's too many details missing from understanding. She was like middle league, like no, yeah, I didn't know. If, if, if she was like amateur level surfer, so then like he's totally <laughs> right. So that's it's very simple. It's yeah. the question is if she's like a legit pro surfer and he dated her, knowing that, and the context of starting off the relationship was that's a big factor. Yeah. Granted, 100%. Got that it. The final thing that you wrote about the, the the past, I mean, this would also go back to the beginning. If she sat there saying that, look, I had a bad past. I don't want to be involved with anyone from my past. I'm trying to move forward. Right. Right? right. I don't want to go back to this. There's so then, much and nuance. She, There's so much nuance. There is. And, uh, there is. Yeah. I'm not joking. You know no one will get, be able to get the bottom of this except for us. But we need to have schmuck. Jonah and her on the yes. podcast. Yeah, we're yes. willing to have you on this label, by we're the way. We're willing to have Jonah, you on this I've label. Jonah, I've talked to your mom via email, and I would like Jonah, to. Jonah, we know that you love Jews from you people. And Even Kanye said. <laughs> yeah. You okay, here's the thing. Jonah is Jonah can definitely continue to be all of our schmuck week just because I'm so fucking pissed off at you, Jonah, for you people. You people is basically an a an hate crime. The ADL should <laughs> should have burnt his house down. It was terrible. Like, Shmuley go. Um so my schmuck of the week is an obvious person who stole my freaking phone. Obvious schmuck of the week. I'm never gonna find you. But I wish the best upon you because I've been through therapy and I know that you're going through it. That's Please so not true. <laughs> all right. there's the, by the way, there's this internal fight at all times. It's like, it's not you. You're just a shliach. <laughs> you're just the messenger. You're just a messenger from God to try to get me to do things better. Who's no, your, but you're a schmuck and you ruined my past two weeks legitimately horribly. Fuck um, me, you threw me into a wild whirlpool of depression. So I know that you were looking for a quick money grab, but you didn't get that, and you got an angry Shmully Warren, which is hard. He was to find. in regular depression. I was in regular depression, in. bro. You moseyed in and made it a weird world. And my hero of the week, great story. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw this in the Maryland lottery. 
there's this family that won for the fifth time in a row Seriously? in five years. That doesn't make sense. Fifth time in a row. No, they, they know something. No, well, whatever they know, they're my heroes. They literally are like, because anyone that's playing these, they're playing like whatever, $20, $30. They, yeah, that they, they, won, they won a 50 grand one in 2017, another 50 grand one in 2018, 100 grand one, another 50 grand. I these people this. are, I, I, ebbed. I, I just, I Bro, saw it on the news. Someone is getting, I did my research. Someone is getting sucked off. What, <laughs> whatever happened, I'm, they are my heroes because all the people that normally like win these things, you see like a garbage worker and like, I, I don't know who they are. I don't know if they're blue collar, white collar, if they're rich or not rich. All I know is that the people that are playing these lotteries normally don't have, are not affluent. He's and right. Be, and because of it, I know I'm right. I did my research. You don't have to like, by the way, verified label says your news story is correct. I, no, well, how is this not more famous, though? Bro, they've Some won for random, the fifth time. If a mathematician, five, do, you, do you know the chances no, of winning? I was gonna once? say, if a mathematician was running those numbers, I think it's probably more. It's rigged. It's rigged. You'd get like, sh yeah, that's rigged. No, that's literally that's possible. like getting hit by lightning <laughs> seventy times. In fact, I'm shocked. I am actually shocked that they're that they're not getting investigated. No, forget about that. They're so stupid to try to win five times in one in the five yeah, years. Yeah, that's played smarter. One hundred percent. The story's gonna come out that they've been cheating. Somehow. Bro, whatever it is, right now the story has not come out, and they're my absolute heroes. Yeah, they're they, are, they are making money doing nothing. <laughs> they're literally like, ah, crap, works bad. Fifty grand. Oh, no. Ah, crap, grandma died. A hundred grand. <laughs> I I actually wait. Okay, I'm gonna Google this right now on the pod. This is Bro, what Maryland, are the chances? Maryland lottery. No, I'm I'm just googling what are the chances of craziest story. Any lottery. It says right here they won a hundred thousand dollars this time, and they won fifty thousand in twenty seventeen. Followed up with another fifty. It's two hundred. <laughs> then the mother won a second fifty thousand. The they're playing smaller lotteries. Oh, though. they're playing smaller Wait, lotteries, hold up, hold bro. Up. Hey, hey, okay. Numbers are weird. And I'm not saying pop. I, one second. <laughs> these guys. These let guys. Me, are, hey, you only let me, find twenty dollars in your one second. Let you only find twenty dollars in no, your coat. This motherfucker's no. pulling fifty grand out of his ass once a year. No, <laughs> I think numbers are interesting, and I think that when. If to win the Mega Millions, it's one in one hundred and seventy-six million. But I think that maybe the numbers work; that uh, it becomes exponentially more likely. For sure, when it's down they to probably 50, have. Yeah, they probably have a one in three million exact chance. Five in five years. Times that by five, bro. It's exponential. I'm just trying to make it make some sense. All you do is one one times three million times one times three million. What are the chances of winning one in three million? Fifty grand lottery. <laughs> I love how I love how you go about it. That's the most Zach way of googling. While something. the odds are stacked heavily against tickles, you're more likely to win less surprises, ranging from five dollars to twenty five dollars. It's one in it's one in one million. One in one million. One in one million. Fifty k is by one five though. Yeah, no, that's in, they they did something that's one in one million five times is. <laughs> someone is getting sucked off. Someone's cheating. <laughs> Whatever is happening, that's they are normal. absolute heroes. Um, I'm with you. Realize that is a <laughs> do you know how many old... times that person probably quit their job either because they say these lottery people they run through the money really quick, so they probably like 50 Got grand a job. and then, then just like they ran through it like in like in, in like six months, They're like ah oh, crap, I have to go back to 7 Eleven, I'll buy another ticket. I'm quitting again. The they funniest thing is times. they probably don't have a 401k or any financial stability, <laughs> but they own there's four Corvettes in a driveway somewhere in Ohio. <laughs> and they're going to be back at working in 7-Eleven. <laughs> they like work at... Like, you like see a... You see like, like, a like one of those workers like at like all, like all these or like Kroger's, whatever it is. <laughs> Piggly Wiggly and just drive up in a like, freaking Corvette. <laughs> they see me rolling. <laughs> you know what's even better? Like... Some people that are wealthy have a safety net. These people have like real safety nets. This, this dude, whoever this dude is, just knows. He knows. Bro, whatever goes south, I got the 50K win in the bag. Do you realize that's, that's like it. an Old Testament level miracle? Yes. That's, that's on par with, insane, a, with, with anything in the Old Testament. That doesn't make sense. That's Anyways, what I'm saying, um, man. Okay. All right. My bottom mind, line. Um, you asked me for my rant of the week. I, oh, yeah. I, I, well, no. Zach's got his schmuck. Oh, you do? Okay. Zach, bro. Sorry, sorry. Zach's go ahead. Zach's got the schmuck go ahead. in here, bro. bro. So, label... Uh, took my thunder. My my hero and my schmuck are the same. Oh, oh no, yours aren't the same. These are two different people. Mine is actually the same person, but it's not a person. Pete Davidson. It's the founding fathers. July Fourth <laughs> had me thinking about things, and here's what I realized: my my schmuck of the week is the founding fathers, uh, specifically the guys who 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 ran the whole program of like, let's leave the British and start a country. Because I don't know what the vibe was back then. Like I get it. Like taxes, sure, fine. As an idea, America makes no sense because it's 50 states. No other country is like this. We have 50 states, they start with and they're 15. all supposed to be one country. Florida is, for all intents and purposes, and Texas are different countries from New York and from Washington and from all these places. We, we it's, it's, it's like four. There's four different countries living in a country, and we're all supposed to vote for president. 
it's clearly not working. Like, everyone hates each other. And, like, no shit. It was a dumb idea. Sorry, Founding Fathers. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Well, dumb they, idea. They had 13 colonies, which might have been smart because it was in, like, one area. But then the expansion. You're saying it should have expanded What I'm trying to, to say countries. is this is why they're the schmuck of the week. Because I think it made sense in 1776 to have the 13 colonies. But in 2023, looking back, you schmuck. You made this we forever? This this is supposed to be forever. You're this? saying they should have had a cutoff in the Constitution that is just the thirteen. There's no ability for amendments. You think you tell George Washington, no, there's gonna be fifty states and they're gonna be so different. They're gonna be more different than traveling to you travel to London from New York, you're way more common than me going to Florida. It's true. What, what is this? You're a, you the hubris on these men to sit in a room and be like, no, this document that we made, this is gonna be forever. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> this will work. A hundred states. I don't care. <laughs> schmuck. That's You're very, all schmucks. That's very good. Great take. Love it. But not, and my eyes are going to well up here. My hero of the week is the founding fathers. <laughs> <laughs> because fuck the British. Imagine we were still British. I don't want to have those teeth. I was about to say I the don't want to have those teeth. What we teeth? have dental care because no, of these guys. British people are known for having terrible teeth. I was really? just talking about this with someone. Yeah. Someone's on vacation and they saw a British person and I'm like, they, their accents are cool. Whatever it is like, Henry Stimler, right? His accent, like, is charming, They're, but the shout out Henry, the teeth. And also, we, look, all I'm saying is, there's these couple dudes in wigs, in powdered wigs, in the 1700s, and I, because of them, I owe them so much. I have good teeth, and I'm not eating porridge made out of cow tuch. <laughs> like their food Biscuits is disgusting. Also, yeah, like really, they yeah, have bad British teeth? people, they What's have good, teeth? they have good desserts. What's their bad tea from? Bad teeth. Teeth? Oh, uh, it's, they just, it's just known. It's like a genetic it's just, thing. It's like a genetic yeah, thing. Good desserts. They just don't have toothbrushes in their right aids. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, by the way, he's like, he's like, interesting. Yeah, he's right? like, they, don't have, they don't have toothbrushes. You never heard that? They don't have toothbrushes. I, I mean, in... I've always said that I got my mom's teeth. My mom was British. It's not even a joke. I'm not there messing with her. No, so they, they, had, they had a toothbrush shortage for the past 250 years. No, I think it's the food that they <laughs> you eat. You can convince this guy of anything. It's oh. the food that they eat, I think, it messes up their teeth. They're, they eat like like cow, uh, like pudding whatever, made out of cow. Whatever they do, it's not working, and they need to figure it out. You need to win Guardian Leviosa some of those molars. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. All, All right. right. So the fathers. Yes. Hit us with a rant. Um, yeah. My, my basic take right now, I, I, I've been, you know, Reading more and more, I get. I pay a little bit of attention to the news. I'm not gonna lie. I, I go through my when I'm on the can. I, I'm watch. I go through the New York Post, a quick thing. Um, just the to, news, New York Post. I don't no, know, you get the quick me. tabloid stuff. And I, I just saw like even yesterday morning. I've been thinking this already for a while. Small cess, the plane crashes here. You, we go down a little bit more. Small plane. Ca- Look, this is my official take. If you do something really fucking stupid, and like, we are not here. If you do something stupid, us as a society are not here to save you. You, by all means, can do whatever the hell you want to do, but you are also going to take accountability for your dumbass actions. I mean, this could be, you if could you be talking about take, the ocean gate if you, Correct. If you want to take a submersible down 13,000 feet to the freaking Titanic, or you want to fly a stupid Cessna that has one engine, or you want to do bungee jump off the Grand Canyon, or you want to do anything that's stupid... By all means, go do it. I feel like only non-Jewish, like, multimillionaires and billionaires do this, like, I'll climb Everest or go into the bottom of the ocean. Total bullshit. No, Jews, when they get rich, they just buy a bunch of real well, estate. you said this before, but yeah. I'm saying, nothing to do with being a multimillionaire. Lots of people do stupid ass shit. No, but it is a rich person thing to do. Mm-hmm. These certain types of things. There's lots of things that aren't stupid things to do. What's a, what's a life dangerous thing? People climb Mount Everest all the time. I think you have to be rich to climb Mount Everest. Do you? Doesn't it cost some money? You have to, like, pay all those Sherpas. How much does it cost? <laughs> Hey, yeah, why are you looking at me? Yeah, what I'm clear. saying There's is what, what rich people do for a, for a thrill versus what poor people do for a thrill is different. Rich people climb Everest and poor Please. people do fentanyl. You know something? First of all, fine. We shouldn't protect rich people either. If you are choosing to do something that's really, really stupid and unsafe, you should not be using all of our resources and alert the whole world that we now have to come save you because you decided to be a moron, okay? My life is going well. Everything's going good. Why should we have to have deploy you ever... all of the, the, the world's resources and all of our tax money to come save you because you decided to be a fucking moron and go 13,000 miles down <laughs> below the ocean to below the ocean? The with, a, with an Xbox controller. Like, what the actual <laughs> fuck? Like, no, I'm just going to fly a Cessna and crash into the side of, of, of a six-story building. No, I'm not here to save you. Sorry. <laughs> Would you ever go in one of those little planes? No. Hell no. no. Hell no. Have you ever, you've never been in like a, a small plane? I lied. I have been. He's okay. been in a private jet. That I was, was in a private jet. No, private jets are... No, he's be never big. been in a small plane. Never been in a small plane. No, like a, a small plane. Like one of those propeller no, ones? No. no. Yeah, F yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F no. 
Yeah, those, I wouldn't either. Those stupid things. Bro, I wouldn't get in a hot air balloon. I wouldn't get in a helicopter. That's my point. If you are choosing to go on something that is inherently risky by any means, we are not stopping our <laughs> lives to come help you. In fact, we don't even give a shit. You died. That was your decision. Move on with your life. Straight up. No, that was your decision. So I'm like, if you want to fly a dumbass plane, there's well, one they actually can't really move on with their lives. <laughs> it's like you died move on with your life bro <laughs> no, to the family members whatever that's your risk you're taking you can right. fly in a one engine plane you know already if that one engine goes you're done that's the choice you choose to make sayonara, sayonara as they say sayonara. done out that's label that's well my said. official take label well refuses to mourn what? refuses to mourn no I just I keep on hearing about these things I, I'll tell you my next thing just very quickly every single time and this is a totally separate thing but there is nothing that irks me more than being in a sauna and having a bunch of people chirping. And it's usually a group of people that show up. You're in the gym or you're in a sauna and it's quiet. It's dead silent. Everyone's meditating in the sauna. It's quiet. People want to, right? They're, they're trying to sweat it out. They want to be quiet. They'll listen to music. All of a sudden, four guys who are 24 and between 24 and 27 show up and start talking about the week. Like, bro, no one wants to hear you talk in a sauna, in a dry sauna. People are there for their peace and quiet. They want to listen to music. They want to zone out. And all of a sudden, this guy is sitting there talking. Yo, you don't understand the stock I bought yesterday. Bro, shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear you. It's like, like someone walking into the funny. room you're doing therapy in and talk just, about the game. I'm not even kidding, by the way. Imagine you're trying to like just sit cross-legged and just be like silence. And you just hear people chirping. I'm telling you, every time I'm in the gym, it happens every time I'm in the gym. Like I'm just jealous your gym is a sauna. Bro, it's LA Fitness. It's not like... I'm not playing an Equinox over here. Bro, I'm at, I'm at Blink, baby. We got no, no song. I don't even know what Blink is. <laughs> He's going to Planet Fitness. Oh, is that the same thing? Otherwise known as Planet Shit. You're not like a, you're not an Equinox guy? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not. There's just no Equinox near her. You do Lifetime Fitness, right? LA. LA, LA, LA Fitness, not LA. Lifetime. Lifetime is, is, is another thing. one. Yeah. Lifetime is actually near LA. Uh, near Equinox. All right. Where are we holding it? Should we try? We got a, we got a good bit. We got a, well, we we got got. a good nice one. Okay. And it's now time for a new segment. I don't know if we're going to do the uh, put it on the screen thing. I hope we do. Um, it is the white girl moment with our very own Shmuley Warren. Shmuley, take it away. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Really appreciate it. You're so um, appreciated here. This week's white girl moment is going to be the white girl of the year and of the era's tour, Taylor Swift. We're going to go through some lyrics of hers and dissect them as she is just one of the most beautifully writing masterpieces of lyricists. And what I just said made no sense, and I understand. <laughs> and we're going to go through her song, That's the Way I Loved You. A great song of hers back from 2010. Something that really cuts deep, gets to the core of a relationship and what it's meant to be like. So we're going to start at the first verse. I don't know if I'll get to the second verse, but the first verse is as follows. He is sensible and so incredible. All my single friends are jealous. He says everything I need to hear and it's like... I couldn't ask for anything better. He opens up my door and I get into his car and he says, you look beautiful tonight. And I feel perfectly fine. She feels perfectly fine. And this, my friend, is a relationship I believe everyone would like if they were a woman. Am I right? Am I right? I believe so. But let's get to the chorus. And this is, I think, the problem with America and we're going to get into it because you have 500 million people that are giving their money to this. This is the chorus. I miss screaming and fighting and kissing in the rain. It's 2 a.m. and you're cursing my name. And in love and that you act insane. And that's the way I loved you. I miss breaking down and coming undone. It's a roller coaster kind of rush. And I never knew I could feel that much. And that's the way I loved you. So what she's saying here, guys, is I had a great relationship where someone treated me so kind, so, so nice, really put me first, respected my wishes. But fuck that. I really miss being treated like shit. And this, my friend, is why Taylor Swift cannot keep a boyfriend. So everyone that's like Taylor Swift, and I'm the biggest Tay-Tay fan, Tay-Tay, I love you. But let's go to the second verse. He respects my space, never makes me wait. He calls, he calls exactly when he says he will. He's close to my mother, talks business with my father. He's charming, endearing, and I'm comfortable. It's a great relationship, but what does she miss? She misses cursing and fighting and kissing in the rain. It's 2 a.m. and she's getting cursed out. She really misses toxicity. And that, my friend, is why Taylor Swift will never find love. I'm sorry, Taylor. I love you. I love all your music. 
But this song encapsulates you everything, <laughs> everything that's wrong with every single woman relationship that's going on because of you. See, they miss, they miss feeling being treated like shit. Correct. I know. And this song, if you look at the lyrics, guys, the way I loved you, and it's a great song. I listen to it all the time. You just had such Trump cadence the way you said, and it's a great <laughs> song. No one writes better songs than Taylor Swift. I love Taylor Swift. She has a horse face. That was not a joke. I mean, it's it's. I mean. It's a very known thing. People like a lot of girls, unfortunately, it's a very unhealthy thing, but like being treated like crap. But look, like, this is a song. Makes them feel good. This is the song that says, you treated me so well. You were the best thing I ever she had. She really loves Scooter Braun. And <laughs> I think literally, and she's like, but I really, really miss the rush of getting treated like crap. I think this is, <laughs> this is a testament, I think, to how good makeup sex is, is if you have such a good relationship <laughs> that you never have makeup sex because he doesn't do anything wrong, Really missing out. That is Can't a Taylor it. Swift white girl moment of the week. And that has been white girl moment of the week. Let's do some questions from the the audience, the fans, the fanship. Uh, okay. Okay, this one is for Shmully. What was the experience like of having a rabbi as a father? Oh, my bad. That was related. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting into that. We're not getting into that. Good question, though. <laughs> okay, this one is, honestly, this one is for label. Does the car you drive reflect slash represent who you are, how well you're doing? <laughs> okay. Um, this is a good question. This is a very, very good question. So. Definitely not the car you drive now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, what was the question specifically? It's does the car you drive reflect, represent who you are, which seems like very deep, and then how well you're doing. I definitely don't know what she means like how well is your bank out or how well you're like mentally doing. No, definitely not mentally doing. Why would that have to do anything with that? I don't think it has anything to do with those two things, whether or not it's mentally or financially. Um, I think a lot of people drive uh, expensive cars and don't have a lot of money at all. Um, it's very easy to get a loan on a car and get a lease. It's actually not difficult at all. So you just have to have like a 650 credit score and you'll get it. So I don't think having a nice car at all. In fact, I think you could fake most wealth. Uh, I mean, you could look like you have a lot of money and really not have any. Um, that's number one. Um, I'm not looking or thinking of anyone here who takes trips around the world and just lives like an absolute king in Miami, in Paris, in Prague, in Rome, in f travels your business, uh, goes to Israel, wherever he wants, he goes and is not extremely wealthy, but he portrays and lives a very wealthy lifestyle. I'm not saying anyone here is like that. Um, but with that being said, uh, so yeah, as far as the specifics of whether or not it means you're wealthy, no, definitely not. Um, what was the other part of the question? Of uh, does it who does it represent who you are? Um here's the thing, there is definitely some cars that some... say a lot. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. You drive a degree. truck, you're a type of person. You drive a yeah, Prius, you're right, a type I agree. of person. I would say it represents You drive a Subaru, you're a lesbian. You drive <laughs> I don't know. I would definitely say you, that you it You drive would... an F-150 that's souped up, you have a small penis. Yeah. <laughs> A <laughs> lot of cars are small penis cars. So many cars are small penis I, cars. I, I would say for sure that I think that some cars, yeah, it says a little bit about it. Look, if you're driving, you know, uh, just to give an example, uh, straight up, I, I, right, I had a BMW, had is the key word in this, but Tiny, yeah. tiny penis. Exactly. So <laughs> it, at the end of the day, like that, scientifically, they haven't found it yet. Like they're looking for life on Mars and life inside this penis. Like there's exactly. nothing there. Yeah. But the problem is with you, we can't find the car. So we have no hey! ability. Hey! Hey! Well, you know, what did I drive? What did I drive? You, took I had a you drove dime. a Prius. <laughs> I had a Prius, baby. No, I didn't. I had a Yaris, which might be gay. <laughs> 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 a Yaris. I can't believe you were Yaris. But no, seriously, I, I definitely think it says something. I mean, I'd be lying if I said it. I think it means nothing to have me. It definitely says a little bit about my personality, for sure. Um, I'm not here to defend myself. I don't, I don't, At least you're, dude, by the way, being it's not even that douchey of a car. Like, dude, you could have been so much worse. You could have gotten, like, a Hummer. I would, like, probably leave the park if you got a Rover. Hummer. No, Range Rover. I don't, I don't hate Range Rovers. If you have a Honda Accord in general, you're, just a, you're living a balanced life. <laughs> you. Honestly, you I have a Accord, but oh, I do, a sport. I do. You have a sport, so right. I don't know. Which means that Why I Why do you have a sport? I'll tell you I have a sport, because... It allows me to strive for something, you know, like a, when I get into the car in the morning and I notice that there's a little sport thing over there, I don't use it unless I deserve it, you know, unless I earned it. I got up earlier enough, sport button. I have like a dark joke. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying like if things really go south, like it'll get you there <laughs> yeah, quicker. It'll get me, yeah, that's, it'll that's get you true. where you're going quicker. That's and true. I don't yeah, mean so the I, short. And the short answer to the question is that, I mean, look, I, I happen to be, I'm of the weirder people that... I don't really care about cars that much, believe it or not. Like, 
people do come into my car and they're like, why is your car so dirty? And I'm just kind of like, I, I don't know. I, I'm not, a, I don't explain it. I just not a huge car person. I got a nice car. I finally got a nice car. Felt like I wanted a little treat to myself. So I got it. I don't know. I was driving a Honda Accord for nine years previously. Fans of the podcast, please let label know that he should let me spend his money. I want to pick your next car because you could do so much better than a BMW. He happens to Zach knows cars very. What should I get? I can literally get whatever car I want right now. You're single, (laughs) right? That was the most humble brag ever. No, No, (laughs) meaning my car got stolen. No, let me me say my car got stolen. I have insurance money. You're single. single. You're single now. I could also. You're doing well. (laughs) You're doing well. You're single. You don't need the. You don't need space really. You're not really driving a lot of people. So why are we getting an SUV? I want to see you. Above the road. I want to see you in an Aston Martin, bro. Go no full way, James bro. Bond. No, no. Don't know no. way me. That's a way more douchey car than a BMW. No, it is not. It's a way yes, cooler, it more elegant, and beautiful classy. car. Classy. It's classy. Yeah, James you're all Bond, about classy. James Bond esque. All Craig. I need to do to get this to happen is to like find out that Tom Brady drives one, and then he'll buy one. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> it's not a car that I have no interest in an Aston Martin. Okay, fine. More questions. More questions. What made you want to start a podcast? I think we can all answer that, which is our low self-esteem. And okay, moving on. Need for ego. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> same, same, same side of the same coin. Um, can you bring Gal Gadot on the podcast? Yeah, right now. Let me just call her. Call her. Hi, Gal. Can you come on? Thank you. I'll see you on July twenty eighth. Bye bye. <laughs> Who are these people that ask? I I like I love their their confidence us. in us. Yeah, that's like a lot of confidence. Yeah, we're like six months out from Gal Gadot. We'll get yeah. there. We'll get there. Um, okay, this one was specifically for me. I'll answer it, which is, what was your favorite concert you've been to, and who would you love to see live next? Favorite show I've ever been to is Theo Katzman, and I would love to see Ben Shapiro live next. Um, <laughs> he goes on these acoustic, like, singer-songwriter <laughs> tours, yeah. He goes, no, he plays violin, legit. Oh, yeah, that's what I, yeah, that's it. Did you know that? I, I did not know that. He's legit a violinist. I mean, that's the number one show I want to go to. Well, I want to. I see know you're joking, through. but did you know he's, not he's a legit, legit violinist? I mean, it does not surprise me. It I know. very much fits in the fact that he was in Harvard at like 19 and has probably never kissed a girl. So when you've never kissed a girl, you've... I know he's married, but I still don't think he's kissed a girl. So I think you have a lot of time in your hands. You could learn she, violence. You think he has four kids without kissing a woman? <laughs> Somehow he's never kissed a girl. Uh, okay. Moon landing, real or fake? You, is that a joke? Question yeah, I literally want, want to I literally know. Yes, real. Real? Yes. What? You sound very sure of that. I'm I don't think sure. you've done any of the research. I don't need to do any research. I'm there's sure. a big conspiracy theory. In this, I am like, aware that there's, there's a conspiracy die. theory about 9-11 being... Uh, yeah, yeah there's good evidence. That's good that's evidence on that one. Bro, hold up. Jet fuel does not melt steel How? wheels. Wait, here's yeah, a, we, building uh, seven. Yeah, building <laughs> your mama, okay? Well, that's uh, inappropriate. <laughs> okay. I don't care what building you want to tell me. I live in... I like to live in reality. I'm not saying you can't ask the question. I love how he just... He, 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 I'm not saying you can't ask the question, by the way. but I, I don't crazy. live... crazy. You gotta open again. your mind, man. <laughs> no, my mind is wide well, open. The, what, what, the Do you think the government the has video. our best interests in mind? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I, I, that's a very difficult question to answer. I'll explain to you why. Who's the government? Specifically? Con- right now, Congress, Senators, President. Everyone that's running for I these things. I think the people that are actually running it don't. Yeah. Okay, they, I, don't, I mean, I don't think Congress are senators. I don't think they're even aware of necessarily what's happening. Dude, we all I don't know. think Congress or senators know what's happening. They're running a molestation. The people ring actually, out of a in my shop. opinion, pulling the strings are way above Congress or senators. They have no idea what's happening. Like AOC you, thinks you, you she don't has think that a, they have ability. Government has no ability. AOC does not, even, in my opinion, does not understand the deep state. She has no idea what's going on. But Zero. you're saying that the, there is such thing as the deep I state. So, That's yeah. a conspiracy yeah. theory. Yeah. I think there is such and a thing. It is a conspiracy theory. But I don't think, yes, but I don't think that. Okay, so there's levels to which uh, which I believe. Meaning, I'll explain very simply. I've talked to you about this before, and I've actually explained this before, even on an old pot. There's levels, and that means that in every think about a company, every company has people vying for the top, right? When there's a fight for the CEO position, or there's a fight to push a company a certain way, people try to push the company a certain way. It's the same thing with America. It's the freaking country, the number one superpower in the world. Of course, there are people behind the scenes trying to push the world a certain way. It's kind of like the Matrix. Like, like you may hate Andrew Date, but there's a certain concept about what he's saying. That's true. People at the top want to make sure society goes in a certain direction. I believe that, whether that's liberal, not liberal, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. At the end of the day, I don't therefore believe that people are slamming planes into the Twin Towers and uh, orchestrating COVID the to make sure. The flag is waving in the video of the moon landing. There's no wind on the moon. I rest my case. Do you actually, do you, do you believe the moon landing is not real? I don't. But you don't want. Wow. I, don't, I don't. I don't believe it's not real. No. Oh, you don't believe. Oh, I'm. I'm fully agnostic. I'm 100 agnostic about it. Which is, I literally don't know. It's why is it waving? I have a question. 
Has anyone been to the moon since? Or yeah. just the... F- no. Wait, but you know that. Of course we've been to the moon oh, since. No, I heard that we haven't. No. Wait, have we not been no, to the moon? Haven't. We have not been to the moon since. We haven't been to the moon. Why am I the why am I the most educated no, person on we this podcast? Been to the moon since. No, we, we haven't. Been to, we haven't been to the moon in forty years. No. Yes, we have, dude. No, we have not. Our producer is literally telling us now we have not. I'm telling you, we have not. We've only been to the moon one time, and we're not sure if we've been Wait, there. Who are the guys who are on the moon? It was Buzz Aldrin. Have and who? we been? He swore Buzz Lightyear, he... bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Buzz Aldrin swore he was on the move. I, you he was videos. the one that Neil was on Armstrong. The OG. Neil, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. I mean, the sixties. Yes, one small yes. step for man, one giant. We Billy Joe Armstrong. <laughs> right. Right. Billy that's it. Yeah. Wrote American Idiot from that. Because uh, he's so how stupid America looked from the moon. Exactly. <laughs> Have we uh, been to the moon since? This whole, this whole podcast is us Googling things everyone should One know. One second. <laughs> what the happened answer, in 1776? <laughs> Have we been to the moon since 1969? Shorty's got it. Uh, 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 uh. One of... No. Do, 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 no. We really Land, between 1969 and 1972, as part of the Apollo po- project, we landed people on the moon. Despite several subsequent policies by America, however, no humans have landed on the moon since. I volunteer. I honestly, Boom, I do label. think that would get us late. No, it says right here, the last time a person visited the moon was in December 1972, during NASA's yeah. Apollo 17. So we were there after 69. After 69, yeah. There was one full mission between 69 and 72 called so Apollo. We were only there one time after? Whatever, during those three years, I guess. So we were there a second time, bottom line. I don't, who says? But hold on one second. At this point, does no one believe we could go back to the moon? Well, why have no? One, why has no one done it? We clearly go to space. That much is clear. You think we could go to the wherever with Elon Musk on his rocket, but we can't go to the moon? No, of course we could. We definitely have the capability. Oh, to go I'm to the saying. Moon. So the question is, is very simply: Did what? we do it? Did we do it in '69, or did we? Nice. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you. I have a very simple question. That's a very simple question. <laughs> is the question whether or not the specific famous thing about that we did it on this particular day happened, yes, or yes, whether we did yes, it at yes, all? Yes, yes, yes. And yeah. Oh no, that we did it at all. That we did it at all because no, it of says that. right here we did it in seventy two. We did. Apparently, we did it, it more than just sixty nine. Right here, I'm looking at it. Apparently, Apparently we did it more than just sixty nine. Yeah, but that was sixty nine was the first time. So did we do it? 72? Do I, yeah, the, here's my it. question. <laughs> here's my question. <laughs> this is a great conversation. Well, for all the people that are conspiracy theorists that say that we didn't make it in 69, why are they, they not debating 72 if 72 happened? Right. We didn't know about 72. Now we were coming up questions for the conspiracy and theorists And I'll say even better, if they did it in 72, there's a sure reason to believe they did it in 69. Three years later, they were able to do it, but three years earlier, they couldn't? I mean, that's... Let's say billionaires go down to the ocean and see the Titanic come back up in three years from now. I would so know. they didn't do it three years ago, and yeah. they do it three years but later. I, but I would be less apt to believe that it didn't happen three years prior. Like, imagine someone had a thing that Robert Ballard reached in 85. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. And then I, I heard it was I, definitive I that he reached in 88. I'd be like, if he's saying he did it in 85, right. okay, probably. Right. We're talking about crazy. I hear what My you're mind saying. just went to two things. Because you talk about the ocean, we're talking about conspiracy theories. This was something I was absolutely convinced of as a kid. You know the Bermuda Triangle? Yeah, it's, like it's a part, real thing. But does, do you know what about it? Yeah, of course. It's a real yeah, thing. so like all the boats, things yeah, go missing. Area. I 100% thought that was what we were taught in Hebrew day school was the Leviathan, which is. Yes. Known by non-Jews as the Leviathan, yes. is that there's this gigantic sea creature that's the size of a continent sleeping on the bottom of the ocean. I was like, oh, that's clearly where its mouth is. Its mouth is the Bermuda Triangle, and it eats things uh, out of the water. So I thought it was just in the Bermuda thing, Triangle. What? You don't know what the Leviathan is? No, what is that? What? Hold up, wait a second. Are we educating him on Jewish shit? I've never even heard of it's that. It's like Bro, a, some famous The Leviathan is a famous thing. mythical creature. That, that God made like that God before made before the world. I think yes. Um, I think during the seven creation, days yeah. during creation, that it's this it's this um, what do they call it in um, Kraken? The Kraken. Yes, yes, very good. It's it's this massive, massive sea creature monster that's sitting at the bottom, basically like the ocean, and like it. Does is, the Bermuda Triangle exist? It's definitely a real thing. It's, it's definitely a real thing. Whether there are actually things that happen in that area. Do we know where it is? No, no. That is yes, also we know where true. It is. Yes, that is yes, also yes, true. Yes. Why doesn't anyone ever just go there and see what happens? Because no one. Afraid. Do you do you want to take the chance? But why don't we have like sonars or like robots go down there? Or Maybe we do. But Area Fifty One is that like what's going on there? What's Area Fifty One again? And airplane food. What's up with that? No, air- <laughs> this is the great thing. Area Fifty One is ever. what the UFOs? Yes. Okay, fine. What's going on there? Why can't someone just go over there, Label? Like, why can't you go to Area 51? 
We're not allowed to go to Area Why 51. Why not? Because it's like... So it's, it's a military zone yeah, officially? Because yeah, yeah. that's Mommy and Tati's so special like, I don't know. Place. Are people allowed to go to the Bermuda Triangle? I don't know. Guys, all I know is that I've just found out that we know nothing. <laughs> Between this 69, is... the Bermuda Triangle, Area 51, the, the, the Leviathan. This is the best podcast ever. <laughs> what's, up, what's up with uh, the, the deep state? Yeah, what's up with the Area 51? Yeah, what is up with that? I don't know. You don't know either. Yeah, I don't know. Sick. Dude, sick. Sick, bro. Sick. sick. I want to tell you something hilarious. My phone right now is, is, is blowing up with someone that is... <laughs> Uber pissed at our last guest Poznanski for challenging ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> really? The fuck up. Who, who, who is don't say challenging? Don't say it out loud. Oh, oh yeah. I, 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 I assume I know who it is. Blowing the F up for challenging oh, wow. ayahuasca. Yo, oh, God. Uh, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> whatever. Um, guys, I think that we have yeah. exhausted some. Uh, Zach, any last questions? No, I think we should go for another hour of us just being like. Yeah, and what is up with the French Revolution? Why did that happen? I what don't is know. industrialism? <laughs> yeah. That's Any other quick questions? Any quick questions? Oh, uh, okay. Last quick questions. Quick question. Last one. <laughs> what are green flags you look for in a girl? No. Uh, tits. Moving on. All right. Bye. Okay. Next. Queen Jesus flags. Christ. Uh, honestly, Daddy's got money. No. Um, I don't know. Do we have another good one? Let's see. This is actually just funny because you guys, none of us give a shit, but it's zodiac signs. No, no, no! You guys would even say your zodiac. Oh, I'll, uh, no. oh, I'm pieces. <laughs> I said it purposely, purpose. obviously. Yeah, get out, out of here! Get out of here! I, no, Wait, purpose. can I guess, Leo? It's Piscas. It's Piscas, yeah. <laughs> um, Taurus. No. Yeah. What? It's obvious. It's obvious. Most people. I'm not a believer in zodiac signs, oh, but Scorpio. it's obvious. No, <laughs> most intense one. Scorpio. Scorpios are no. No, no, like like batshit crazy intense. Cancer. No, no, that's for a three. <laughs> keep, keep going. Maybe one for twelve. You'll Just get. tell me. Gemini. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you're See, of by the way, that's they why we don't believe in zodiac signs thing. because I just said four. You just said four different ones, and I said intense. And you're like Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces, uh, Pisces, Aries. Like I'm, you literally can go through. I all am of a them. Scorpio. But I've learned I'm a Scandinavian to... swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Trader Joe. That is my <laughs> zodiac sign. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. I think we're. I think we're good. All right, everybody. I think we're good. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. On to the next. Oh, um, who's gonna be in the Super Bowl this year? Oh yeah. Hashem. No, Shmuley. Who's gonna be in the Super Bowl this year? That's Ooh, actually a good question. It's Shmuley. a good question. Who's gonna be in the Super Bowl this and year? And who like, wants to put that money or something? If no? we're gonna, if we're gonna make predictions right now. Oh, I'll put a hundred down. They said. You want predictions right now? Quick, would you actually bet one of our fans? Would you come um, on in? I would bet one of our fans. No, this is like legit. Yeah, I would I'm bet one I, as proxy. I would, I would bet a fan hundred dollars. Whoever gets, uh, whoever gets it right, or even if they get one of them right, fine. Or so, whoever's team goes farther. Fine. I want to say that the teams that are going to make it are the Bengals and the 49ers. Who's the QB for the 49ers again? Brock Purdy. No idea who that is. Brock Purdy. That's an endorsement deal waiting. I know someone who's obsessed with Joe Burrow. <laughs> Joe, girl, obviously. Yeah, ah, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obsessed. Ah, ah, ah. Do you I guys actually, think soccer is going to be big in America? You know, it's like there's like a push for it now. Yeah, there's been a push what for is, like, you guys think it's gonna 40 be? years. <laughs> 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 no, some Jewish kid just got a crazy contract or something for New York. What, the, the firm kid? Who yeah, whatever, I know more about sports than you. I know you're talking it's about. It's like Feldstein or something. Yeah. Like really Jewish. I know you're talking. No, yeah. it's a Sephardi kid. Oh, okay, he's, a, he's a soccer player? He's a soccer player. Oh, no, no. I thought you were talking about there's a uh, kid who's an agent. Whatever. I sent it. Shmuley, I sent it to you. What, an agent? No, there's this from kid who just signed the deal. as an agent for an NFL guy. Anyways, guys, peace out love. We can't talk about this all day. We're gone for nine hours. Right. Ready to be moon landing was fake. All right, bye. Uh, moon landing was real. Uh, building Wrong. 7. Wrong. I, knock, I knocked down personally. Um, all what's right, guys. With, what's, up, what's in Area 51? What's in there, guys? What's up with that? What's up with what's, Bin Laden, bro? <laughs> is he in there? Where's Elvis? <laughs> Hey, by the way, no one has seen Bin Laden's body, by the way. Real life. Yeah. Real, real talk. All right, guys. Peace and love. Appreciate it. Rap. Appreciate it. We're rapping. We've rapped. Rapper, rapper, rap. All right, fine. Let's go.